The following podcast has been rated listener MA. It contains strong language, violence, adult situations, nudity. Listener discretion is advised. Uh, would you rather give up cheese or blowjobs for the rest of your life? Oh, blowjobs all day. I, I'm the same. I'm fucking Yeah, same. they hurt my jaw. Blank. Rejected name for condoms. Gosh, I don't know. Cock koozies, jizz mittens, ham holsters, kidnappers. Yeah, try it now! <laughs> <laughs> try it, try it now! What's up, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of the Laughing on the Sidelines podcast. I am your host. My name is Scotty German, a.k.a. Scooter McFuckstick, and alongside me, as usual, are none other than the two best stand-up comedians in the Wichita area first. It is his last episode as a permanent member of this Laughing on the Sidelines cast. He is none other than the 1984 Kingman County T-Ball Defensive Player of the Year Award winner, Mr. Jeremy Joseph. <laughs> Yeah, it's buddy. finally here. <laughs> oh. oh, Jesus Christ. I can't wait for the sweet relief of keep laughing, asshole. <laughs> You're going to miss us. You're going to miss us. Like all. I'm not going to be back on a regular basis. Yeah, I, I know. That's true. Uh, but no, um, we got... Uh, By the way, Jerry? happy anniversary. Yeah, happy anniversary. This is our four-year anniversary, if I'm correct. Tis. Tis. God damn it. Yeah, and also... Feels like 40, <laughs> doesn't it? Yes. Yeah. And also none other than the wreck himself, Mr. Derek Alders. <laughs> Love this guy, too. I'm yeah. so jealous of you, Jeremy. How did you pull you that off? You should be. How did you pull that off? I got to it before you did. God. I can tell. <laughs> Damn it. I saw you, you were about to say something. Remember how you barely beat me to that whole, you know, blowjob thing? Uh-huh, yeah, yeah. You know, uh, that it was the same way with this. <laughs> I'm quitting. God <laughs> damn you. Ah, uh, shit. It I was like sucks. that. I was like that one over anxious jackass on Jeopardy with the the buzzer just. <laughs> that, was, that was me in high school. Oh yeah, yeah. We used to have to play that for like uh, extra credit. Oh and nice. My team was getting our ass kicked, and one of the categories <laughs> was true false. Mm-hmm. And I think she couldn't even read the question. She's like, true or false? <laughs> you got a coin flip. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, 50, I missed, 50. missed four out of five. <laughs> oh, uh, boy. That's, yeah. that's just yeah. that's luck. Ba- that's bad at a 50-50 game. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's my luck, Jeremy. Yeah. It sure is. Uh, well, ladies and gentlemen, this is uh, this is going to be a great episode. Uh, it's going to be a milestone for, for us. Jeremy, it no, is. No, it's going to be a great episode for us. It's been four years, four years since we started this show. We've gone from the unfiltered sports cast all the way to the laughing on the sidelines and uh, picked up a pretty good following, I think, uh, in the four years that we've been doing this. And uh, it's going to be a There's fun show. one thing that was holding us back. What was that? I can't put my finger on I just... <laughs> just... Uh, <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> God damn, it's like a magnet. There it is. Huh. Oh, Javi, God damn. Huh. Make sure and tune in next week for the Unfiltered Perspective. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you guys got to start your own show. Mm-hmm. Uh, but no, this is going to be a fun episode. We got actually a new, uh, a new segment this week. Why is there pubes on my mic? <laughs> well, <laughs> because, you know, I just figured I'd prank you. Apparently so. My lawnmower. How did your pubes get up your ass? <laughs> it smells like shit. <laughs> well, I didn't wipe that day. Maybe. You didn't. Mm. Uh, but we know we got a new segment. Uh, we get to play Google. Uh, that's uh, that's our uh, new segment this week. We got overrated and underrated questions for Guntas. What's in the box? Uh, and a fun draft involving Mr. Jeremy Joseph. And as always, a shitty situation to end on. Um, and we've got a lot of news. We've got some news uh, that we're going to go over uh, for sports this week. Um, but yeah, we're going to start off the show like we normally do. But uh, if this is the very first time you are listening to a Laughing on the Sidelines episode, this is a comedy podcast where we like to make inappropriate jokes about the current events that are going on in sports. And this is also an adult podcast where we like to use foul language and make loud noises. So if that's not your thing, you're in the wrong fucking place. Get the fuck out of here. Thank you. And fucking bye. There you go. Uh, but yeah, we've got uh, a week, week recap to get to. And we're going to start off with the gentleman who was not here last week because he's a little bitch, Mr. Derek the Wreck Alders. What? 
What'd you do last week, man? I Why weren't you here? You were required I, by law. I had to get as far the fuck away from you as possible. <laughs> you should have kept on going, buddy. I know. Yeah. I know. I tried yeah. to drive my car into a fucking river, and yet here I am. That's, it's, it's my force field. You got one of them amphibious cars. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. It, it steers left and right. Boy, that's a bit when you're trying to end it all. <laughs> <laughs> next, oh. you, you're trying to drown yourself. Next thing you know, you're just boating. Yeah, <laughs> where he's picked up a couple skiers. It's, mm-hmm. yeah. uh, I mean, it's fun. It is. Fun. Yeah, it's really fun. this time of year. Maybe not the best time for it. No, well, it depends on and, where you're at. And let's face it, boats are just money pits, right? <laughs> that's right. Nobody actually wants a boat. You just want a friend who has a boat. Well, yeah, Derek's right. like pools. Derek's, right. Derek's right. car actually, his tires actually, they flip the wheels over and it turns into ice skates, so it works out wherever he goes. No, they don't. Yeah, they do. You just no. don't know about it. You pushed no. the wrong button. He didn't get that package, Scotty. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Never mind then. Go ahead. The base model. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. Where, don't where? make that on the base. I don't even have blind zone alerts. Oh, yeah. shit. Okay. Nissan didn't make that standard until like 2019. Oh, mm-hmm. gotcha. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. They're still working on their transmissions. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yep. So Nissan is known as the best ice skaters in cars nowadays. <laughs> but, it's actually but Japanese until, for ice skating is Nissan. That's what Nissan yes. is. Yeah. What it means. I believe it is. Yeah. yeah. Nice. Uh, so what'd you do? Hey, losers, <laughs> you want to get on the ice, eh? <laughs> <laughs> what did you do over the last week, buddy? We missed you. I went home. Yeah, uh, you did. I was supposed to go home over Christmas, and the weather just said, fuck you. <laughs> so I ended up switching plans and went home this week, this past week, and went to Illinois. Oh, sorry, I got to get my drink on. <laughs> yeah, no, I don't blame you. I would, too. For Jesus this Christ, that's the only way I'm going to make it through this. <laughs> I know. So, man, it is weird being yeah. back home. Uh, I have not been back home and actually spent a significant amount of time there for 10 years, maybe. I was say, it's been a minute. So, um, all the same guys hanging out on the corners. Yep. 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 I got my money. It's been a long time. Sure. So they owed, they, they owed some back pay. Um, juice was working. I'm assuming. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Nice. Nice. Uh, the crazy thing to me, which, Holy shit. Like, you know, whenever you come or when, well, yeah, all, yeah. all yeah. over face. Yeah. All over face. All over tits. Uh-huh. And tits, yeah. Uh, no, you Reminds know. you at home. <laughs> <laughs> uh, sure does. When they open the casino here yeah. uh-huh. in Wichita, and everybody's like, there's going to be crime, like, fucking galore, yeah. and it's just going to, and it didn't happen, really. Right. Yeah, yeah they put right. out in the middle of fucking nowhere. Yeah, but you know how fucking dangerous Mulvane is. Yeah, right. It sure so, is. Yeah. Uh, they call that Little Compton. That's right. Um, Me- meth capital of the world. I had a deer stare me down just the other night. <laughs> Pulled a knife. It sure did. <laughs> yeah. Right on his head. Uh, Several of them. Eight of them. <laughs> so in Illinois, it is legal to, uh, like, every place has mach- gambling machines. Every place. Okay. It, it nice. is fucking like, Oh, legal. like slot machines? Yes. And it, video poker and shit? Yep. 100% nice. legal. If you don't have those... You're not going to be in business. Hmm. I don't care if you were a laundromat, a pizza hut, a gas station. It doesn't matter. They're in everything. That's my favorite thing to do. You know that there's some nice progressives at the laundromat. Oh, yeah, absolutely. (laughs) So if you don't have a gambling machine and a pizza hut, I ain't fucking going. I'm not. I'm not joking you. They are in everything. And McDonald's aren't you gambling them? enough by just putting your quarters in those machines <laughs> and seeing if they work? Yes. Yeah. yeah, I mean, uh, I come I, on. I'll, I'll be honest element. with you. I have never. Okay, I shouldn't say never, but in the last twenty years, have not been found myself in a position where I needed a laundromat. I've been that fortunate. I'm not bragging. Just saying, I've always had. Uh, never got to check out the sit and spin. I've always had a woman to do it. So that, yeah, yeah mm-hmm. absolutely. McDonald's has a fucking like poker screen thing right next to their play place. <laughs> I didn't go into McDonald's, oh, but it does damn. not surprise me <laughs> if it. You're not going to make it. Um, are there um, are there age requirements there? Uh, 18, you, 21. Yeah, you got to be fourteen to fuck. <laughs> uh, sure. <laughs> yeah. Sure. Uh, I mean. You know the rules. Yeah. Consensually. I, w- yeah. I was more talking for the gambling machines, but that's good to know. Uh, okay. Uh, it's uh, please, I, please be I, older I, than I'll be 14. honest with you. I had, in two weeks, I had a road trip set up with a 12 and a half year old. And, uh, Calm down I'm, over there, Epstein. I'm going to have to just put put the kibosh on that for about a year and a half. <laughs> she's she's going to have to stay on the other side of the velvet rope. That's you right. can still doggy and reach back and hit the machine, and I think you're good. That's right. Hey, no shit, have a velvet well, rope. As long as she's across the Wisconsin border. Yeah, right. <laughs> they no shit have a velvet rope, and you if you are not 21, you cannot be on the other side of this rope that is I'm from, sure that's going to hold them back. Right. Oh, absolutely. 
So, and it has become, my hometown looks like what I th- they thought Mulvane was going to become. Like, just, it is a shithole. Like, I, I didn't think it was going to be that bad. And I don't remember it being bad growing up. Mm-hmm. Holy fuck, what a shithole. Mm. Like, Good they, old Decatur, Illinois. Yeah. Yeah. The, I, I got to eat at all my favorite places. That's important. Great. I that, got to all did my... Did you get some pie? Huh? Did you get some pie at I, Perkins? At Perkins? No, no, no. It was on the fucking way. I I know it was on the way. I asked Jay. He didn't want a a friendship cock ring. I asked him. (laughs) Well, I'm just of the opinion that all cock rings are friendship (laughs) cock rings. I don't know. If you get one that's too small, that could be a hate cock ring. You can't get it off, and then all of a sudden, you got to go get that thing amputated. Sure. Yeah. Oh, I don't think shit. they're all friendship cock rings, Jeremy. He makes a good point there, Jeremy. I, I, I never even thought about it that way because I, I can't imagine one being too small. Yeah. <laughs> I got to put a hose clamp on most of them just to, you know, just to snug them up. Snug them up. <laughs> She used the old twisty tie. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Hey, hang on. Don't throw that bread wrapper away yet. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, uh, I'm honestly, gonna, nobody uses that thing once it's off. That's right. I'm going to be an iron kid one way or another. <laughs> that's, <right. laughs> that's one. That's actually the first leg of the iron kid's triathlon. <laughs> Put your twist tie on your dick. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Um, oh, shit. So, yeah, driving back, uh, I drove through fucking, I think, all four seasons. <laughs> okay. Uh, it was like s- close to uh, 60s when I left, uh, then hit nothing but fog, then hit down torrential downpour, uh, then it became freezing cold. Uh, I Every time we would get through something, I'm like, all right, now let's hope. Nope, here's some more shit. It was like God was playing Jumanji with me <laughs> to get back to fucking Wichita. Like, they did not want me to get there. And so then I finally get back. I got back about 8.30. What less. a weird place for nature to try to keep you out of. <laughs> right, yeah. No, you don't get the good things in life like Wichita. <laughs> yeah. Imagine what's going to happen when I die. Oh, my God. <laughs> no hell for you. No. <laughs> But you don't get to go to Wichita either. <laughs> no. I fucking love Decatur, it. Decatur, it sounds like, is where you're going to go. <laughs> yeah. That's where you need yeah. to stay. You're going to be around all them slots and no nickels. I'm going to get reincarnated <laughs> as a video poker machine. <laughs> Just uh, filthy fucking hands yeah, just yeah. pushing on you. Yeah. Uh, I did get to see a lot of my, my How friends. How many of those school. you think get broken every day? The poker <laughs> machines? Uh, uh, yeah, those gambling machines. Because you know that there's a, there's a few gas stations around here that have, mm-hmm. I mean, they are seedy fucking joints that I don't recommend anybody go to, mm-hmm. including the people who work there. And you know that there nobody's hitting jackpots there no there are there's those things never pay out and you know that people are spending their fucking rent money on them and because they're across the street from whatever yeah. hovel they live in mm-hmm. yes and you know at some point some drunk asshole who got a 40 of old english is uh gonna put the stool through it Oh, for sure. Oh, yeah. So I bet you Decatur, that happens every day. They just got warehouses full of replacements. <laughs> yeah, just for, like that kid that slams his mm-hmm. Xbox controller down into a million pieces, mm-hmm. walks into the drawer, opens a new one, and then just plays like nothing ever yeah. happened. Yeah. I like to think uh, that they they you can win on them so little often that they actually have ones that are the Atari version of E.T. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that game that was impossible to win. That's, the that's, worst that's game That's about how ever. likely you are to win at a slot machine in Decatur. Actually, Atari's uh, all about the defense. Uh, now, do they have actual casinos there? No. Too? No. <laughs> well, it depends if you if you consider uh, Donna's game room and Lindy Lou's Pizza Hut. Like, there's no place you can go and sit down and play a game of blackjack or no, crap. No, 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 no. Okay. Um, Just video poker. So then, obviously, we're we're on our way back, and I didn't see anything that had happened uh, such far as Monday Night Football. I've got the radio off. I'm fucking concentrating mm-hmm. in this fucking terrible-ass weather and shit. And I, and I get back, and I pull up Facebook, and I see the – all I see is the words, prayers up for DeMar, yeah. right? And I didn't know what had happened. And so I look at it, and I'm like, what the fuck? Because I misread it for a minute, and I'm like – prayers up for Dahmer. Like, <laughs> oh, God. What the fuck is going on? Oh, and then I shit. I click on it, and I'm trying to... And I'm like, oh. The rascal himself. Yeah, the, yeah. the old rascal. I think no matter what happens with this guy, that should be his new nickname, the rascal. <laughs> the rascal. <laughs> but yeah, so I didn't know what had even happened with that. 
And then I pull up and I'm like, well, sus- and then I thought like Jamar Chase got suspended because it said suspended on the fantasy football mm-hmm. thing. Mm-hmm. Then I realized what had happened. So okay. yeah. I was late to the party on that. I thought something happened with like Dahmer's dad. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, he's on life support. Let's make sure he's going to be okay. Jeez. He seems like a good guy. I've yeah. seen him on recent things. He really takes a lot of responsibility <laughs> where he should as a parent. Yeah. He's not as he's not as much of a rascal, but he is kind of squirrely. That's a fucking crazy so, deal. I know we'll get yeah. to that. But that was yeah, we'll get crazy. that. We'll get that many. That was your uh, that was your week. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, really? Because well, I don't see it on here, so we can't talk well, about it. Yeah, no, it's there. I don't see it. It, it will be. Um, so, anyways, happy New Year, everybody. First of all, I hope everybody had a very safe uh, New Year and uh, happy 2023. And it kicked off like shit. Uh, but uh, before we get into the sports stuff, I guess over over the week. Um, or the last weekend, I guess we had, we had new year's. I got to go over and hang out with my brother, which was, is always fun. Uh, we ended up playing crafts for like two hours. Uh, we ended up playing, um, what game did we play with my niece? Like skip bow, I think. And then, uh, Uno, I played Uno. First of all, let me ask you this question. Did you know that in the official rules of Uno, if somebody deals you a draw two, you are not allowed to play another draw two to make the next person draw four. Did you know that? Everybody knew that, Scotty. I didn't fucking know that. And oh I my think it's God, bullshit. that's the most commonly known rule in all of Uno. It's bullshit. Absolute bullshit. Uh, but no, I had a really great time with them. What are you playing? Filipino rules? Mm-hmm. Yes. It's <laughs> yeah. clearly a Spanish yeah, game, Scotty. Yeah, because yeah. I look fucking Filipino. Well, the whitest yeah. person ever. I'm not apparently even white. You didn't know, apparently, you didn't know that rule. I'm not even white. I'm fucking clear. I'm, I'm just red because of that's my blood circulation. I'm red just because you fucking enrage me. Yeah, yeah I know. That's true. Uh, yeah, that's true. Just had to throw that in there. Um, it, it, it pertains to nothing in this. I just had to point out you are, in fact, short. We and are your all, sexual performances mm, are below average. That's totally true. And that and that's fine. That's okay. Uh, she's I'm still tired with me. of getting texts about it. I know. Me too. Hey, she's been with me for fucking 12 years. Eventually, you watch the same movie over and over. It finally gets fucking old. Um, and, and that's we'll, the problem. You're watching movies. You got to do it. Well, yeah. Uh, we'll, and we'll get to the Demar stuff here in a second. I was going to bring it up early, but I'm not going to, uh, I did that because yeah. we'll also end up talking about, uh, fantasy football and stuff like that too. So I'm going to, I'm going to end with, uh, I got, uh, obsessed with a movie that I hadn't seen in fucking years. Surf Ninjas? No. Time Bandits. Okay, so the, so uh, Derek, you weren't here. Jeremy and myself had a draft last week of uh, our, our... If we only had five movies to watch for the rest of our life, which five movies would they be? Mm-hmm. And, uh, and tell me that number I, one for you is not Step Up to the Street. <laughs> it's not. Uh, no, my number one would have been Bloodsport. I'm sure it is. Uh, but I picked A Few Good Men because A Few Good Men, every single... Uh, Whatever night we record, I spend hours editing and putting the episode together, but I watch that movie in the background. That's my, my go-to movie. I decided after last week to change it up and try to find a movie that I hadn't seen for a really long time, also from the 90s. And um, I watched City Slickers for the first time in like mm-hmm. 10 years. Mm-hmm. That is a very, very underrated movie. I'm not saying that like everything's all spot on and it's great and stuff like that, but the dialogue between the characters is absolutely fucking hilarious. Who played yeah. third base for the Pirates in 1960? Fuck. I should know this. Don Hoke. Don Hoke. That's right. Yep. Uh, but anyways, no, a great movie. Uh, if you get, if you want a good 90s movie uh, it, that's very, very funny that I had no idea how funny it was until I watched it as an adult, holy shit, it's hilarious. So I had my wife watch uh, Kingpin. Great movie. She didn't, hadn't she did, I think she finally realized she may have seen it but didn't remember I, any of it. Yeah, great movie. Little known fact, that was actually the middle sequel between City Slickers and City Slickers <laughs> King 2. Yeah, yeah, King that's right. yeah, absolutely. It takes place in the same universe. That's right. <laughs> it's kind of like a Marvel thing. Yeah. <laughs> and one of these days, they're going to tie them all together. <laughs> I don't know. Billy Crystal's getting pretty old. Hello. He sure is. And uh, oh, yeah. uh, what's his name is dead. He uh, died. I didn't even know he died. Oh, Jack my God. Pounds. He's been dead. Yeah, he's been dead, he's for, been a dead while, for a while. But I had no idea. That's why he wasn't in the second one, and it broke my heart. He I played the uh, crime boss in the original or not the original, but the 89 Batman. Really? Yeah. He actually played the, the bandit guy. and Smokey and the bandit too. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. Yeah, he played the car. He was the original. Oh, Smokey. was he? Yeah. He was the firebird. Oh, yeah. my God. Oh, God. Yeah. 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 Wow. Fucking chameleon, that yeah. guy. Yeah, that is. Uh, he's fucking very versatile. Mm-hmm. Yeah, very Usually versatile. he just plays a tough cowboy mm-hmm. or a tough something. Yeah. Uh, yeah, he wanted to do something. I mean, that say. car he was, tired was getting, relatively tough, I guess. Yeah, he's sure. He's yeah, tired of getting typecast as a human. Sure. So he's like, yeah. Car me up. I yeah. totally get that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Get some wheels on me. Uh, but yeah, I guess the rational gas pump on my asshole. Yep. 
Uh, but yeah, I guess uh, I guess we wrap up uh, my week. Uh, it was a lot of fun, and we'll get to the shitty part here in a second. So, uh, Jeremy, how was your week there, buddy? Well, way better than yours. Yeah, you're counting uh, down to your last fucking episode. Let's I, get through this. I bitch. know people have been wanting to know this, and yes, I got my garage organized. Fuck yeah! I, I, I made some new shop furniture. I made a new stand for my uh, table saw. Wait, wait, so, wait, wait, wait. You made uh, a new stand, or do you made a news stand? Are news? you selling papers now, Jeremy? Yeah, he's peddling papers out. What else would I use a table saw for? <laughs> <laughs> to make a newsstand. Yeah, right. Yeah. Newspapers. I, I need something to set newspapers on, and I just park it out in front of the garage. And I'm like, extra, extra. <laughs> you have a little nine-year-old? You know, yeah, I yeah. didn't tell you guys I lost my job, and so <laughs> I've been really having to. Uh, <laughs> Did you guys hear about that plane that fell out of the sky? Yeah, it was Jeremy's fault. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, so. it just stopped midair. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> Put on the brakes. Yeah, so now... I, I I just sell magazines and newspapers. <laughs> <laughs> the Wichita newspaper. That's why. Uh, yeah. That's why he's quitting the show is because it doesn't go with his schedule. His Make, schedule yeah. doesn't allow. He makes him too to. much money doing peddling the <laughs> yeah. Eagles. He yeah. didn't have to. Yeah. I got to get up so early. That fucking paper comes at like three in the morning. I got to have it set up. <laughs> Good old peddling papers. <sighs> yep. Yeah, anyway. Anyways. Anyways. Um. So, anyways, now uh, the only thing that I have left. You remember a few years ago on this very podcast, I talked quite a bit about uh, building this wonderful uh, uh, workbench that I incorporated with my table saw. Yeah, yeah. yeah. turns yeah, out yeah. that thing is a huge pain in the ass, <laughs> way more uh, trouble than it's worth. So now, uh, if anybody wants a uh, workbench, let me know. <laughs> uh, Craigslist, <laughs> Craigslist, right, Craigslist. right now, right now it is uh, keeping me from parking in the garage. Ooh. Yeah. Uh, is that a sexual innuendo? <laughs> well, I mean... <laughs> no, well, there's other weird. shit that's keeping him from parking in the sure. garage. If you're uh, asking me if I fucked the workbench, yeah. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I did. Your wife got a... That's where I keep my hose clamps. <laughs> your wife got a 10-foot bench in her puss? Is that, is that why you can't park yeah. in the garage there, Jeremy? Seven. Let's yeah. be realistic. Yeah, okay. It's a seven-foot bench. Right. <laughs> um, But seriously, the casters are real nice on it. (laughs) Everybody wants it. I mean, it's it's a good workbench. Um, Anyways, uh, let's see. Uh, I did another uh, live uh, DDP yoga class with with my buddy Matt. Yeah, yoga Matt. And a few other people. Yep. Uh, We figured out something very uh, interesting. I've been leaving a lot of calories on the table. I've been using, okay, instead of a... I've been eating them. Don't worry. They're not going to waste. (laughs) Instead of a standard yoga mat, I've been using, you know those like vinyl mats that they put workout equipment on? Oh, yeah. They're they're much larger. This one's like four by eight or some shit. Um, I can cut that up on my table saw now. Yeah. Uh, it, It turns out it's so squishy that I wasn't engaging a lot of muscles. And, um, when I got a a new yoga mat from my mother-in-law for Christmas. This one, uh, not worthless, like my Home Depot gift card. <clears throat> By the way, he sent me 100 bucks in the mail. <laughs> he figured out what he did. My, my father-in-law gave me a Home Depot gift card with no money on it. Nice. <laughs> yeah. $100 gift card. He well, won- that's what it said on it. Uh, he won down himself yeah, big I am time. fucking totally doing that from now on. Well, Good. here's a million in DoorDash no for you. You, <laughs> you. you feel free to load that up with however much you want. These are... <laughs> Just keep on doing it. I don't care. That's the yeah. thought, Jeremy. Yeah. It sure yeah. is. It's the thought that counts. It sure is. Maybe what if I it should. was? What if it was like at one of the old Christmas? You know, like where you put money in the Christmas card, uh-huh. but it was just two Home Depot cards, and then inside you open them, and there's like a ten dollar bill. An- another Home Depot card. <laughs> yeah. All of them empty. Yeah. <laughs> Last year's Home Depot yeah. cards. That's what it is. <laughs> oh, expired. Uh, expired. Yeah. <laughs> Ant. <laughs> um, <laughs> Well, let's see. That was on New Year's Eve morning. I got up at 6.30 a.m. on New Year's Eve morning. And then, believe it or not, stayed up till midnight on New Year's Eve. First time I've done that, I think, since I went to your house for New Year's Eve. Oh, yeah. Der- not yours. No, I know. Yeah. I was there. Derek's house. Yeah. yeah. But you didn't stay up till midnight, did you? I don't. You yeah, he, was, he wasn't. Oh, I made yeah, he I was in no fit yeah, state. He kicked me the fuck out. I kicked him out at 10. I'm like, no, yeah. only cool people get to stay till midnight. No shit. Yeah. That's right. I had to build. Well, he was always going to the bathroom at pivotal times. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> so uh, anyways, um, then uh, a couple of days later, I had a birthday. Yeah. Yeah. 46 now. Happy mm-hmm. birthday, buddy. You know what? The last two years have been awesome because at least there's kick-ass gun calibers. Mm-hmm. Of 44 and 45. Yeah. There's nothing to 46. There's a 460, but that sounds way too old for me. Mm-hmm. Um, it's 40 ounce beer in three shots. Yeah. Jesus. 
It's the best birthday ever. <laughs> <laughs> I missed it. But no, uh, on really on New Year's night, we went to the casino to celebrate my birthday. We like to go late. And hopefully the crowds will clear out. You go to the pizza parlor or the gas station? Yeah, (laughs) yeah, yeah, (laughs) just to be with all the meth heads there, you know? We, we, I was playing this one slot machine called Frogger. Uh, <laughs> I couldn't win for nothing. I'd spin the reels, get hit by a car every goddamn time. <laughs> they say that that's a random number generated. No, yeah. no, that car comes at regular intervals. But your wife won. No. Oh, really? She's normally the one that wins all the fucking time. No, I was losing my ass. I lost probably 400 bucks. We got there about 1030 at night. I lost before midnight about 400 bucks. Oh, shit. I had 100 bucks left in my pocket. And as soon as it switched over to midnight, my birthday, everything changed. Oh. I was at this black cha- table, which, by the way, apparently it was New Dealer Day at the casino. <laughs> uh, and lucky enough, all the automatic shufflers were down. Oh, oh perfect. So you had to get people who didn't know how to shuffle. Mm-hmm. Her shuffling cards who also couldn't handle cards. I mean, it, guy, it literally took 15 minutes a hand. Oh, God. It was, it, and, and then the people at the table kept fucking around, but I kept hitting all the bonuses, the three card poker bonuses and shit. And uh, I walked out of there, I believe I was 1,350 bucks up. <laughs> Holy so, shit. Yeah. So it was a good birthday. Um, you wouldn't stop if you wouldn't stop fucking around. You wouldn't fumble all these cards everywhere. Well, <laughs> I'm kind of kind of glad because I would have been up that money and then back down that money. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> yeah. Because eventually, that's the thing about casinos is it always comes back around. The house yeah. always fucking wins always if you win. give them enough time. And then uh, let's see. Uh, back at work now. My mm. my nice uh, little vacation is over. Probably won't see a day off again until Fourth of July. Uh, wow. Uh, that, that's not true. As um, far as anybody here knows, though, I am so mistreated at work. And so, yeah, that's what's going to happen. Mm-hmm. Um, I watched a couple things on Netflix. Uh, I watched, I think it was on Netflix. or No, it was on HBO Max. I watched Black Adam. How was and, it? And then on, on, on uh, Netflix, I watched Bullet Train. And if you combine the two, they do not equal being worth one shit. <laughs> uh, not... They really, they are such garbage. Black so they're, Adam, they're probably pretty decent. Black yeah. Adam is fucking horrible. Really, yes. Even okay, we watched that with my father in law, who has horrible taste in movies, and he even he was like, "What the fuck is this? <laughs> this, is, oh. I mean, it's fucking stupid." And uh, so yeah, and then Bullet Train, two Japanese. Two Japanese. Yeah. Oh, okay. It, it does take place. They they have this weird concept of the bullet train, which does go very fast, but not so fast that if you open a window, it'll suck you out. Mm. But that happens a couple of times in this movie. <laughs> uh, let's see. Um, and then I watched uh, the most recent season of Letterkenny. Okay, um, how's it? Boy, it it gets worse every year. <laughs> oh, poor guys. They, they added another episode to the previous season. Mm-hmm. Oh, and shit. it really sums up everything about where that show has gone. It went from being so funny and edgy to it's, it takes place on International Women's Day, that extra episode. Oh, I watched that one, yeah. Yeah, and it's just all about men. You're going to sit here and talk about why you're bad and why women deserve to be treated so much better and why they're so much better than you and why you're the problem for everything. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's basically where season uh, whatever it is that just came out on Letterkenny goes Mm. from there. I mean, it's, it's it's not horrible. There were a couple of laugh out loud movies. Shorzy makes a couple appearances. Movies or scenes? What did I say? Movies. Did I say movies? Yeah, you did. Well, sure as fuck not Black Adam, I'll tell you that. <laughs> That's actually one entire episode. They're just watching Black Adam. Oh, okay. That's how bad it is. <laughs> it's they, Mystery they Science have, Theater 3000. They have yeah. so run out of ideas. That, yeah, it's just them watching <laughs> yeah. Black Adam. Mm-hmm. One. Fuck you, Rock. Yeah. <laughs> well, the Rock sure seems to be juicing, doesn't he, huh? Ah, <laughs> uh, great. Well, I'm, I'm glad, uh, glad you had a decent week over there, buddy. I did, other than the movie thing, yeah. yeah. Okay. I can see your horn through your costume. <laughs> 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 uh, 
<laughs> oh, that's fuck. that's great. Uh, but anyways, yeah, we got a lot of stuff to get to, and we're that's gonna. That's what I appreciate about you. That's right. <laughs> God, K. Trevor. He's Wilson. turned into such a douchebag on the show. K. Trevor Wilson. Yes. Why? He he's like the uber woke. Oh, okay. jag off. Okay. Uh, well, anyways, now we get to move on. Uh, and we're going to probably fly through a majority of the sports stuff. But before we do that, we got to give a shout out to our sponsor, which is Manscaped.com. They make excellent products to help keep yourself groomed. And by yourself, I mean your balls, butthole, and dick. So uh, That's they, right. they you have. You know who doesn't shave his balls and keeps them stinky? My father in law. He ruined <laughs> Christmas. It ruined <laughs> Christmas. That He's bastard. basically the Grinch because he does not shave his balls That's and or taint. Awful. That's how he one downs you. That's right. That's, That's right. <laughs> You yeah, he gets that. down. He gets down there. He sniffs my balls, and he's like, "You should smell this." And it's so much worse. Yeah. <laughs> so much worse. Well, of course it is, Jeremy. You use the ball toner and ball deodorant from Manscaped.com. I, even if I didn't, I mean, <laughs> really, it it smells like it came out of a donkey's butthole. <laughs> He's, he's got some rancid balls. He got those in Nam. Yeah. Smells like two week old White Castle. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, that's oh, that's nasty. Yeah. Ah, uh, shit. Uh, but no. Uh, Extra onions. Manscaped.com has a great product called the Lawnmower 4.0. It is a uh, ball trimmer and uh, it is a very safe product and it has an LED light. So that way, just in case you want to shave your nuts in the dark, uh, you can adjust that son of a bitch and turn it off if you want to and play a game with yourself and switch cut off. What my do you mean? Or not. What do you mean, just in case? You, that's the only way you shave your nuts is in the dark. I know. You got to. I mean, yeah, that's what's like there your for. dick's telling a scary it's, story. Yeah. It, like, sometimes I will do it. With just candle lights around because I want <laughs> yeah. it to be nice and romantic. Yeah, nice and romantic. That's perfect. And the LED I have lights, a, a really solid relationship with my balls. Right. And the LED lights, man, they're awesome. It's like if you're driving on the highway and you use your regular beams, or if you use your brights. That's mm-hmm. uh, that's what it is. It's basically the exact same yeah, thing. Turn on those fog lights. That would have helped out, Derek. Exactly. Now, you know how many fucking dumb bastards when I was driving in that fog had their brights on? <laughs> those guys are fucking idiots. I was so ah. they could blind themselves and you. <laughs> yes. Oh, damn. Okay. Yes. They're, I'm like, what are you fucking doing? They're idiots. And then I was watching the news before I went to bed because I'm old. Yeah. And the lady on the news, the weather lady, was like, eh, yeah, there's it's a really foggy condition. So if you leave and it's still dark out early in the morning, make sure you have those brights on. I'm like, what the fuck are you, you talking about, lady? People. Ugh. Oddly enough, uh, you couldn't even see the TV. <laughs> yeah. It was yeah, so yeah. foggy. It was yeah. so foggy. So that's very ironic. I'm sorry. Back to manscaped.com. Uh, they make a whole bunch of other products like the Weed Whacker to help you with your nose hair, ears hair, and things like that. I said ears hair. Um, K. Trevor Wilson coming back. Well, and, and we do each have two ears. Yeah, that's we're, true. We're all blessed. That's true. Uh, but they also all have... That's a, six total ears, <laughs> folks. They have a bunch of other products. They now have Body Wash. That's another great pot product that they have. They also have... What do they uh, call that? Shit. All uh, right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. They call it the body wash. They still have pr- they still have their uh, cologne. Fertilizer. Yeah, that too. They have uh, their cologne, which is refined. They have tons of excellent products like their underwear, which I'm the only one out of all of the underwear they sent us. I'm the only one that can fit in them. I, I am close to getting You're mine almost there. on one leg. You're, <laughs> You're I almost use there. it as a cock ring. <laughs> that's right. Well, that's Friendship nice. You can, cock ring. I'm glad you can, you can finally stop wearing your wife's, yeah, which is right. nice. Mm-hmm. That is. Yeah, that's right. Uh, but they make a but whole... But he's not gonna. No. No. Oh, <laughs> no. No. Absolutely. I love the boy shorts. They're awesome. Sure you do. Um, but they have a bunch of other products that you need to check out at manscaped.com. Any items that you like and that you decide to order, use the promo code SIDELINES. Get 20% off of your order. Get free shipping and... Um, uh, 20% off and free shipping. Yeah, yeah. And hey, what uh, else, Scotty? You said something else I was going to get? Uh, JP might come over to your house and uh, help you shave him. Possibly. Uh, but you know who won't? My father in law. That's right. He sure will. He hates Christmas. He does. <laughs> he shaves with a broken bottle. Yeah. Best that? thing. That's that's probably what those those gift cards were for shaving balls. That's exactly. Here, you're right. going to nick up everything with this. Absolutely. Check them out at manscaped.com. Uh, let them know that we sent you. That tells them that uh, you know we helped uh, you out and you guys are helping us out and uh, that we read these commercials word for fucking word. So, okay. So here's the deal. I'm going to plow through a whole bunch of these sports, and then obviously we'll get to the main um, thing that has happened over the last couple of days, and we're going to get to that. Uh, but first things first, uh, Dana White uh, hit, smacks his wife, and uh, somebody catches that on uh, video. Yeah, uh, makes we, you wonder what she did. What did she do? She smacked him first. He smacked her second, and he didn't punch Turnabout's her. fair play. Open, yeah. open, open hand at, back at her. Now, granted, mm-hmm. you know, and here's what I say about that. 
equal rights, equal lefts. That's what I got to say about it. So um, what, what if that's just what they're into? And she's after that, she's like, yeah, now spit in my mouth. Like, <laughs> they're like, that evil bastard. And they're like, no, she came. Yeah. She actually, that's how she gets off. And and he said that it's never happened before. Do you guys believe that? No, that <laughs> it, that's. Uh, if you can do it in public. But then again, yeah. tip, uh, here's, here's the one reason why I might be inclined to believe that. Typically, women who get hit a lot are not inclined to strike first. Oh, that's a good point. Yeah. Uh, so, and it clearly caught her by surprise. Mm -hmm. and she was inclined, not expecting it. And women that get hit a lot are actually inclined to listen a little better. <laughs> sure they are. <laughs> yeah, uh, that's true. That's right. Uh, they, you don't have to tell them to go down to the fucking laundromat. They just right. go. Uh, but yeah, that and, happened. And, and put a dollar on the big bucks for me. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Oh shit! Max uh, bet five times. If you don't hit anything, get out of there. Yeah. Um, so yeah, this is, <laughs> leave the white. <laughs> yeah. So this is great. Uh, so uh, New Year's wrong laundry net. Right. Uh, oh, <laughs> not the one I go to. Yeah. They, like uh, I say, I'm very fortunate. A friend of mine that works at, at one of those fucking gaming rooms had told me a story of this one chick. He's like, man, she stole four hundred and fifty dollars from the church, spent it all on the machines, and then fell asleep on the floor in the game room. Because she was too, she actually had worked there too. So when the next person came in that morning, she was still asleep on the floor because she was terrified to tell the church that she, what the fuck? Oh, God. Really? You yeah. didn't think God would bless you with good luck <laughs> yeah. after stealing from the church, yeah. right? right? Yeah. Huh. It's shocking. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's a. Uh, okay. But, uh, New Year's Eve happened, and on New Year's Eve, we had two pretty damn good college football games. I don't know about you guys. I'm not going to talk about the K State game. Because that you, was you can. I mean, I don't think it's worth it. I was happy with it until the goddamn Alabama game. Yeah, or not Alabama game, but the goddamn Michigan game. Yeah, uh, really, you didn't want that to happen. I fucking oh. parlayed Alabama, or oh, Alabama, and Michigan. Ga speaking of gambling, uh, but yeah, yeah. Uh, no, it, it, apparently, uh, I'm more than happy to talk about. It. I, I only was, wore this was because this was the uh, thing that I wore on the very first episode. Of it the is, show. yeah, good and call, and so, it's a little baggy, uh, buddy. Yeah. Otherwise, I would have. Uh, Definitely worn some K-State stuff. I'm still very proud of my guys. I know they played like shit. There was a couple of very small things that went wrong in that game mm. that could have made it a much closer game. I don't know that they could have won. Uh, you know, Alabama is full of future NFLers. Yep. Uh, a lot of five-star guys on that. Um, but I think K-State sure as hell could have played them a hell of a lot better. Probably. Uh, but they didn't. Um, but no, they didn't. And uh, yeah. they shit to bed and fuck those guys. But the two really... Never rooting for them again. Okay. They belong up there with Andy Reid. And far <laughs> no, I, I love them and I'm very proud of them. Shut up, Derek. They so definitely exceeded expectations for yeah. the year. Absolutely they did. Uh, but ex uh, speaking yeah. of exceeding expectations... Oh, what do you got God, there? That goddamn Michigan game. Man. Yeah, that's what I was getting I to. Was, I was going to fight. I, I stole money out of the collection plate to bet on that <laughs> game. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Well, that backfired. Motherfuckers. I'm very, very proud of them. I, I was pulling for TCU against Michigan. It, and I, I'd be honest Everybody with you. Everybody was outside I, of Michigan. Exactly. And I would be lying to you if I said that I really thought at the beginning of the game that TCU was going to be able to hold their own against a team like Michigan. I, re, I would have been lying to you. I really thought that Michigan probably out of the second half was going to come out and just beat the shit out of them. But I didn't think the game was going to be that close. And TCU handled them fairly well uh I, I love that quarterback i love that kid he's got a lot of heart he's not going to make it in the nfl but i love that kid everybody on that team is a fucking fighter and they rally yeah. around him which makes it so much nicer for the coach because now he doesn't have to rally the guys the right. quarterback all he's got to do is rally the quarterback yep and then the quarterback will rally everybody else but he it's one of those guys when the leader on the team the undisputed leader is willing to go out there and lay down his life for the fucking team oh, yeah. the whole rest of the team will follow which is why i think that they have a chance mm -hmm. maybe not the best chance but they have a chance yeah because they get to go up against the number one overall ranked mm -hmm. team georgia who come back uh, brilliantly in this game. And here's the thing. I wouldn't say brilliantly. No, they, they left, did. They left too much time on the clock. Uh, they, they did, but here's the deal. <clears throat> they were down quite a bit. Ohio State was handling Georgia pretty easily, it seemed, especially for one of the, uh, the one of the best defenses in college football. And uh, I got to say, it was probably some of the most beautiful things. And I know we have a lot of listeners from Ohio as a state. I get it. As, yeah, not Ohio as a county. Ohio no, State. Ohio State. We have Ohio County here. Um, but anyways, 
I I think it's poetic justice because you decided to let them back into the game that on the stroke of midnight for New Year's Day, the kicker for Ohio State misses the game-winning kick and the game is over. Is that, Georgia I'm, I'm wins. assuming you mean Eastern time zone because yeah. not here. Yes, not here. It was over in their time zone, and uh, that was it. They, where happy was New Year's. In Atlanta, right? Yeah. Is where that game was, yeah. Mm-hmm. So it was it was pretty fucking funny. So Georgia kind of yeah. had a home field advantage there, huh? A little bit. A little huh. bit. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I don't remember where the game was played, but all I know is that there's a whole bunch of video of people <clears throat> watching the game, and they're Ohio State fans, and it strikes midnight. And the kick is no good, and their New Year's starts off pretty shitty. So, well, that was I, funny. I I personally believe. Okay, it was Michigan beating Ohio State the way that they did was a bit of a fluke. I think Ohio State. This was the matchup of probably the two most talented teams in the country. Ooh. Um, but you know, Michigan got a lot of breaks go their way. And they played an outstanding game. They had the right game plan going into that game. So when they beat Ohio State, I, I still think Ohio State probably wins that seven out of ten times. Possible. So, well, so what you're saying is we need to have a ten game series. That's right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's best, how they should do this. Best, be, best of well, eleven because you got to have yeah. a odd number. Well, you said seven out of ten, though. I mean, you're. Yeah. So we, so we should. good point. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. And mm-hmm. and if they oh, and by the way, if it comes out a five five tie, penalty kicks. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Okay, that wraps up college football on ice. I'm so gonna, who do you guys have in the national championship? Who am I rooting for? Who do I think is going to win? Who do you think is going to win? Who do I think is going to win? Georgia. Who am I rooting for? TCU all day long. Absolutely. Yeah. I I'm I would love to see TCU win, and they have a shot. Just they came out in that that. Uh, what the fuck game was that? Michigan. I, I know who they played, but oh. what uh, what bowl was that? Oh, fuck. I don't know. Was, was that the Cotton Bowl? bowl? The Fiesta Bowl or the Fiesta Sugar Bowl? Okay. It was the Fiesta Bowl. Okay. Yeah. And, and they no showed, longer sponsored by Tostitos, by the way. They will not be intimidated. That's what uh, they yeah. showed. They, they got balls. Yes, shave, they do. Shave balls by Manscaped. They sure do. Yep. They ain't going to ruin Christmas. Nope. Or New Year's, it turns out. That's right. Uh, but yeah, so that's college football. Now we get to move on to the NFL. I'm going to run through this stuff really quick so we can talk about what everybody else is talking about. First things first, Tampa Bay <clears throat> clinches the NFC South after beating Carolina pretty handily. Can the Bucks make a run in the playoffs? Nope. Jeremy? No, probably not. Yeah, they look way too sloppy. They have a guy named Tom Brady. I'm not going to put it past him. I'm just saying I don't think it's going to happen, but you can never doubt Tom Brady. Every he time might get one upset win, but I, that's kinda he's not going to make a terribly deep run. I don't think he's going to make a terrible deep run either. I just... Uh, God, it, it's Tom Brady. Um, but where does Tom Brady sign if he decides to stay in the NFL? Which it sounds like he's going to. He's got a whole bunch of options. I know I have a theory of where he wants to sign and where he is going to sign. But where do you think he's going to sign? Does he stay in Tampa Bay? Or does he go someplace else? I think he retires. Do you really? Mm-hmm. He should. He should. Unfortunately, he at gonna. this point, we are talking about the greatest quarterback of all time, and he is becoming a punchline. Mm-hmm. If he stays another year, I mean, he's showing very much that, and and I think a big part of it is they have a lot of prime time games, and he's my age, which means that's past his bedtime. <laughs> if, he's, uh, if he signs anywhere, I think Vegas. But Okay, so that is where I think he actually is going to sign, but where he wants to sign is has a little bit of a conundrum because I don't think they want to take him in. I don't think he he's going to go anywhere that doesn't offer him a legit shot at a championship. That is exactly correct. Where he wants to go. Here's my here's my theory or my hypothesis. Uh, where he wants to go, which he has said many times, he always grew up being a Niners. San Francisco 49ers fan. That's right. And he was taking pictures walking through the tunnel last time he played there in San Francisco. And the other thing is, is San Francisco will be loaded next year. And so he, Tom Brady does not want to go into a rebuilding situation no matter what, he, where he goes, which is basically Las Vegas. Well, he's got Devontae Adams in he's Las Vegas. He's got Adams in there, but Jacobs is talking about leaving. you got a lot of guys that are upset on the team. He's got, he's got good tools there in Vegas, but the thing that hurts them the most is their coaching and their defense. Here's the problem. Tom Brady, his offensive coordinator for all of those years in New England – 
He's the head coach for the Raiders. Could be a package deal where you it could get be. And he's shown uh, to be a Sean real Payton. good coach. It could be, yeah. Where you get Peyton, you and, get Peyton Brady. and Brady. And and I think that that's definitely in the mix. I don't think Brady goes to San Francisco. And the main reason why I don't think they that he goes there. They're, they got too much shit. They got so much shit already. They got Jimmy Garoppolo that they're probably going to off. They got, they got Trey Lance who just got done having surgery and is probably going to be a liability. But you can't necessarily trade him. If, I guess you could try. Oddly enough, tonsils. Yeah, tonsilitis, right. Yeah, yeah tonsillitis. Yeah. yeah, that's right. And, had uh, nothing to do with his injury yeah, at all. And Brock Purdy, who's coming out and just doing his fucking job, which, in my opinion, uh, if you're going to want a backup quarterback, Brock Purdy is going to be the best mm-hmm. backup quarterback in the NFL. Period. Yes, he's proven that he does belong in the league. Yes, for it, sure. Exactly. And and I all the kudos in the world to him. But there's just too much shit there for Brady to just walk in. I'm not saying that now, he doesn't, but I I just doubt it. Now, I can tell you this. He would benefit a thousand times over from being Tom Brady's understudy. Oh, yeah. Sitting on the, Brock on Purdy? the, yeah, sitting oh, yeah. On the sidelines yeah. and just learning from, from Tom Brady just how to handle yourself yeah. as a loser, but, uh, which is what he's going to be. Um, <laughs> probably. But, but, yeah. the thing, but the thing is, is I, I really do think if they, if they can make it work in San Francisco to where they get rid of Lance, get rid of Garoppolo, have Tom come back for one year, have Brock Purdy back you up, it might not be a bad idea. Just saying. I just, you know, just thinking stuff. I would just, I would, I have, while I don't like him, I respect Tom Brady and what he has accomplished, and I so badly do not want to see him become a laughing stock. Correct. I want him to I go out on to top. Go out with, not necessarily on top, but with dignity. Okay. He was he, he was a winning quarterback last year. He was a Super Bowl quarterback, the Super Bowl before. winning quarterback the year before. Yep. You've shown that you can do it at any age. Go home. Yep. You've got plenty of money. Let Step out of the way. Because whoever signs you is going to be obligated to make you their starter, and you might not be the best guy on that roster. That's true. Um, all right. Next one. Green Bay smashes the Minnesota Vikings in, uh, I believe it's in Lambeau. Um, will Green Bay make the playoffs because they have the Detroit Lions this weekend in Lambeau? Nope. You don't think so? They will not make the playoffs. You think the Lions are going to beat them? I think so. I don't think Rodgers still doesn't look good. It's not Rodgers that's doing it. Yes, I agree with you. So if, if it comes down to where they're in a situation where it was they're the down, defense. they're not going to win. Yeah. And Detroit's defense is looking better. I, I think Detroit beats uh, wins that game. I, I do too. Uh, as me sporting <coughs> the Lions shit and Lions gear, I'm really pulling for them, obviously. But the question comes down to, because these, t- these three teams are basically tied, and that is the Detroit Lions, the Green Bay Packers, and the Seattle Seahawks, all 8-8. Eight and they are fighting, <clears throat> excuse me, fighting for that last spot in the NFC. Out of those three teams, who makes playoffs? Who's Seattle got? Uh, I have to look it up. They seem to be on the downward slide. They I, do. I agree. I agree. Let me pull it up here real quick. But I, I, I am picking my Lions. Now, granted, I'm biased. That's Is totally there a head to head between either of those two teams in Seattle? Uh, I don't think so. Uh, the Seattle, ooh, Seattle plays the Rams at home this week. Well, Ugh. there I got Seattle. Yeah, I do yeah. too. Really? Mm-hmm. Rams. Well, I, you know what? Ram, the Rams, Rams have been looking beat good the, the last dog shit out of the out of a really good defense. Who'd they beat in Denver? Oh, that's when right. They beat oh, 51 yeah, that, that was the week before. Right. I don't know what they did this week. Uh, they. Uh, I'm gonna guess they played. They did play. They put uh, out they, eleven they, guys they, on they, the field they, at a time. They. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> They uh, they sure did, um, motherfucker. Who did they play this week? I'm trying to pull it up and I can't even fucking find them. You're the worst. I know you I'm really are. Yeah. You where, ever thought about stepping where, aside? Where the fuck? No, no. I'm too. They're good in Los it. Angeles, Scotty. Yeah, I know. What did you think I said? Did I say St. Louis? Yeah. Oh, I meant I meant Los Angeles. Well, that's a neutral site game. Yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah. No, they lost to the Chargers. They lost to the Chargers. There's no shame in that. Uh, Thirty-one to ten. It was. It was also. There's some shame in that. Yeah. There's some shame, <laughs> there's some shame in that. Uh, but yeah. Anyways, uh, I'm I'm pulling for the Lions. I think they uh, I think they take it over. And I, I actually call the Rams uh, beating uh, Seattle. In my my opinion, that's just my opinion. Okay, now we get to get to the news that everybody is talking about. Uh, unfortunately, the uh, Monday night game was postponed due to a terrifying injury to Demar Hamlin, who uh, we ended up later finding out that he had a cardiac arrest. Not on, not Dahmer Hamlin. Not Dahmer Hamlin. Yeah. Uh, Keep that Demar, in mind. Demar, Demar Hamlin. What a rascal! Um, yeah, freak fucking accident. 
It, it was absolutely horrifying. It was very scary to watch. It, I actually was watching the game live. Didn't even look bad. Uh, it did not look bad well, after the hit. He stood up. Okay. Yeah. It, it wasn't as a result of the play, was it? Um, I think he just has a bad heart. There are conflicting points. Here's the deal. And, and this is where I'm at why I wanted to wait for this thing to be last because I got bone to pick with some of these people out on fucking Instagram. So what ended up happening, happening is that DeMar ended up tack, tackling T. Higgins, who was on his way on a run back off of a kick return. T. Higgins uh, knew he was getting ready to get tackled and lowered his helmet, which then struck DeMar Hamlin directly in the chest plate, which I've heard it before happening that if, depending on the heart conditions and stuff like that, if you take a direct shot when your heart is beating backwards, so it's on the release, the relief, mm -hmm. um, that it could make you go, if it was a hard enough hit, which it was, it was a pretty decent sized hit, it could make you go into a, a heart issue. Um, which very well could have happened. It was definitely not intended that that was supposed to happen. He was trying to make a tackle. He stood up. And even when you're watching the game live, they cut away and show a guy holding up a, a Bengals fan, holding a sign, go you know, cheering on the game. And then you, they pan back and they see him laying on the ground immediately. When they see him laying on the ground, obviously you've got trainers going to help him out. And immediately when they get there, they check for a pulse, no pulse. So now everybody that's on the field is freaking the fuck out because they're watching somebody do CPR on one of their yes. friends on the field, and they have never seen that before ever. Right. Just, just to put this in in mind and to explain this a little bit to people, uh, there's a lot of confusion between cardiac arrest and a heart attack. Correct. Uh, the actual name of a heart attack is a myocardial My infarction. That is correct. Uh, that is just where something gets restricted with blood flow. The blood flow back to the heart muscle itself gets restricted. That's what a heart attack is, which can cause cardiac arrest. Cardiac arrest is when the heart actually stops. Yes. He had a cardiac arrest. He was legally dead. Dead. <clears throat> on the field. That's right. This is not just a... Uh, an injury, a standard injury that most people, he died on the field. Mm -hmm. um, it's hard to say. I mean, you know, with all the padding and everything that they're wearing, mm -hmm. who knows if that's what caused it or just the fact that here's a guy who is running and playing as hard as he possibly can. Yep. Uh, I'll be very interested to, if they even release this information, if there's some sort of chemicals in his system that may have had something, maybe uh, some performance enhancers or uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. drugs. I don't, or, I don't think so. I, I mean, I don't typically so. hearts don't just stop on very well-conditioned athletes. I think if anything, it could it could have been an either uh, an he was unaware of a, of, an, of a condition or it could have been something underlying. Yeah. Now, but I don't think it's anything to do with, with I don't drugs. Know. Now, it does sound like they have reestablished. I read on the ticker earlier that they have reestablished his natural heartbeat. He is no longer on a machine. So right. his heart is beating for itself. So you now. read on the ticker that his ticker's good. Yeah, I did. Yeah. I did. Yeah. It's, a, it's a good ticker machine yeah. Yeah. right there. Yeah. Cur currently as a good ticker, ticker. Currently as we're recording the show, uh, they, first of all, they actually had to bring out panels for him. You know what I'm talking about? Panels, the defibrillators, the, the defibrillators, right? right? right, right. Um, and that is also something that uh, you don't really want to see as, as an athlete, but what you're finding out about this, this kid, uh, unless you want to run faster. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> Um, but what we're finding out more and more about this kid, you see those on the Astros he's, dugout, mm -hmm. right? He's 24 mm -hmm. years old. He's an excellent human being. Uh, one of the coolest things I found is he has a, he has a charity that's out. That was basically to try to help, uh, kids. I think it was for, I don't know if it was for Christmas or whatever it was. It was to buy toys for kids that had a really rough help like COVID, COVID deal. Oh. Yeah. Situation. But their goal, whenever they started this whole foundation thing was $2,500 after last night, they legitimately went from like $10,000. So they are already over their goal. It is now over $4 million in donations to that, to that charity. Or that so foundation. they've exceeded their goal by a lot. Yeah. Um, so like sweet toys, I'm, sweet I'm just, fucking toys. No shit. Do you know how, what? PS you could definitely get a PlayStation. Yeah, 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 for sure. PS fives. Those kids are gonna go yeah. run into some orgies. I bet then they're gonna have to get condoms because they're gonna be dripping in puss. That's uh -huh. exactly right. Uh huh. Uh, but no. Next it, thing you know, they're gonna have kids because the condoms are ineffective. <laughs> sure. And then boom, new charity. Now, yeah, <laughs> yeah. babies so, raising babies. Yeah. So and, Merry Christmas. So as far as the new detail, and 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 be, I was an EMT at one time. It wasn't for very long, but from what 
information. Yeah, I'd be like, just fucking let me go. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no <laughs> shit. You ain't touching can't, me with I the can't fucking stare defibrillator. At your fucking oh, yeah. face. Just let me die. DNR. Do got not it. resuscitate. Scotty trying to give me fucking mouth to mouth. I'm like, I just got a cut. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> no, uh, I think no. I need stitches on my thumb. Quit. No. As, as far That's as not where my <laughs> mouth is, <laughs> yeah, yeah, no shit. you can't you can't revive me by sucking mm. my cock. Um, but no. So f- as far as the details that I've, I've heard is that he <laughs> actually at one point in time, and this is this is not verified, but this is what an, one article that I read. He actually did regain consciousness as of late. He regained consciousness. But in order to keep him from being in harm's way. Uh, they they do have a a breathing tube, so he is intubated, is what we call that. So he is being assisted. That's what they call it. Don't put yourself in there. Yeah, that. that's what yeah. they call it. Um, but uh, so he is being assisted with his breathing. Everything else, his vitals and all that stuff, are good. So the chances of him coming out of this are significantly higher than what they were whenever he was legitimately dead on the fucking field. It's not a fucking. 100% chance that he comes out well, of this. The hard part now, though, is, is yeah, him coming out of it. But once you're dead, your organs start doing. That's exactly right. And where. What is, side effects? Where is he going to be at there? Yes. What side effects? Yes. Uh, uh, mostly what you have to worry about here when it comes to the heart not beating. And that means oxygen's mm-hmm. not getting to everything. You got to worry about brain damage. Brain damage. That's is the exactly first right. thing. Uh, will he. Uh, I. It didn't seem like he was out. For that, it didn't seem like they performed CPR, CPR on him so long. that long on him. That's true because uh, there's there's the rules of three. Yes, you can go three weeks without food, three days without water, three minutes without oxygen. oxygen. That's right. And so before brain damage starts to really set in, and I don't think it didn't seem like he went three minutes without. It could be. It, it could be close before they stopped the CPR. Now, when they brought out, there's a lot of. Uh, disinformation i guess from tv shows and stuff about defibrillators and how they work a defibrillator will not stop a non-beating heart right a defibrillator it basically a heart that is trying to pulse but it's like stuck like a record that's on skip Skip. yeah or or that's got a that's got a scratch in it a defibrillator is like somebody coming along and and banging on banging it. Banging on it, yeah. That's what a defibrillator that's does. That's a very good way of putting You're goddamn it. goddamn right. Yeah. I'm a regular fucking Fonzie There over you here. go. That's right. Um, but, yeah, so the chances... Uh, I'm so waiting for Scotty to stutter now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just punch him, that. Just yeah. punch him in the fucking face. Fonzie, that motherfucker. <laughs> um, uh, but, yeah, so so obviously... Uh, I, I, I hate saying thoughts and prayers, but I mean, I, we obviously, what really, else can you do? What? Yeah, exactly. We all hope. I mean, there are, there are Cincinnati Bengals fans that are sitting outside of the hospital right now, praying and hoping that this kid comes out, which I think is excellent class. Um, a lot of people have sent the family their best wishes and things like that. Cause that's all you can do. Um, but there also are some motherfuckers that I need to call out and I'm pissed off about this. T Higgins is, his he has an Instagram account and and a lot of pieces of shit are basically calling yes. him out and blaming him for doing this. Want him to go to jail, giving him death threats. You guys are motherfuckers. This is bullshit. He didn't intentionally do this. It's a total accident. And for you, absolutely making the mental health for T Higgins has got to be crazy oh, Jesus right Christ. now. If if this guy winds up dying, especially yes. Oh my! I mean, it doesn't. It sounds like maybe the things are on the bright side of it. I hope, but yes. And, and that's all we can do is hope at this point. I'm, I don't know if I've mentioned this before or not. I'm not a doctor, right? Uh, nor have I examined this patient at all. Mm-hmm. They won't even let me near him. No, it's, it's very <laughs> frustrating. Uh, I tried to drive up there fog. Uh, <laughs> the whole way I there. didn't get through, uh, <laughs> but, but no, uh, he was just playing football. That's a that's football right. player playing football. Yes. They all, they all know the risks. Um, yes. I don't think that they ever anticipated this particular risk. Uh, I'm a little leery to see what over precautions that they start taking from now on mm-hmm. with extra equipment. They're going to put airbags in their fucking shoulder pads <laughs> or yeah. something. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, he's very, very padded up in that particular area of his chest as it is. It goes, it stops, but, it stops right here at the sternum, which is, which is kind of, where you need to be protected. Mm-hmm. And so I'm sure that they're going to come out with something, but, and I don't mean to cut you off. I like to think they're going to come out. It sounds like you did mean to I, cut I, I don't. Suits of armor. Suits I of, think that's what we need to do. Just yeah. some plate mail yeah. armor. Yeah. Yeah. Style. Yeah. Yeah. Medieval night shit. Yeah. Sure. 
Imagine yeah. the hits you could lay. Just pow. But, but the but the people that are that are calling out T. Higgins and being total fuckwads, it drives me nuts. We talk about something all the time. Uh, there's a reason why they have uh, nets wrapped around baseball stadiums now, um, further than what they used to be. And uh, there, there was, yeah, I don't like it, but here's the deal. It, back then, whenever there weren't nets and somebody accidentally lost uh, the grip on their baseball bat and it flew into the crowd, what if it hit somebody in the head and it killed them? That player that did that, it's obviously an accident. They weren't fucking doing it on purpose, but it's going to fuck them up mentally yes. forever. That is exactly what's going Anytime on in this that particular that's situation. ever happened, they've had to pull the player out of the game because they, I mean, yeah, I don't know if they had to, but they always did, they did. just because yeah. they couldn't risk it. Even if they and didn't that's, die, even if they were just hurt. What? Okay. Now I did not see the actual footage of the hit. Did T Higgins lower the crown of his helmet? He knew he was getting ready to get I tackled. He so he, he lowered him. He lowered, he yeah. lowered himself yeah. down. Yeah, and he kept, he kept his hit. face up. So that's yeah. not even a, you can't even call that an illegal hit. Who gives a shit? Even but if he, even if he puts head. it down, he has the that ball. long. To make that fucking decision right there. That's mm. it. He's the in, one that's, in the heat of battle. That's, he's the one that's going to take the hit. Yes. Yeah, you know he's the I mean? one being yeah. tackled at right. this point. It, and, and his job is to try and lower his, his center of gravity, gravity so that he can push forward as far as he possibly can. That's correct. This is just a bunch of people who think that they're doing good on behalf of somebody else. This is why I say I don't like getting offended on other people's behalf. That's correct. what this is. People who think they're morally virtuous because they're doing this. Fuck those people. That's right. Um, I'm glad none of our listeners. That are being those said, of shit. I think that certainly a year long suspension for T. Higgins is warranted <laughs> here, uh, just because I don't want to see the Bengals get back to the right. Super Bowl. But uh, no, um, yeah. But and and a lot of people were like, so many implications on this game. Yes, they shouldn't have canceled it. You cannot put these. Big, fucking strong and super fast athletes out there on the field in a very violent game without their focus. Correct. Or else somebody else would have for sure gotten hurt. Or well, emotionally imagine, wrecked. Imagine if they canceled well, the game and then middle of the second quarter it comes in that he died. Yeah. You know, yeah. then what? Yeah, 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 yeah. Exactly. Yeah. You say didn't cancel I, or they get did Imagine cancel. if they did not cancel. Exactly. And then yeah. You're, then yeah. You're, you're fucked. Six minutes left in the second quarter and he's pronounced dead. Well, here's the deal. Like, Whoa. Did you guys know that the NFL is not the ones who called the game? I've heard this, but I don't know for sure. Everything I mean, that I can see that I've been told, uh, it actually was a mutual agreement between the coaches and the players that this game, they were not going to play the rest of the game. And it happened in either in the tunnel or whenever the coaches came together, whenever he was being uh, loaded up into the ambulance. So, I, um, I think the NFL would have eventually came to this decision. Shit, on their I, don't, own. I don't know, dude. <clears throat> I don't I, know. I, I, I think the, it fucks the, with the their game. Season. The game did continue for a couple of minutes. Yeah, but it's like I think it's such a shock to the system that nobody really knew what to do. It's like, have you ever heard about car accidents where a driver hits a pedestrian and they just keep driving? It's not because they're trying to get away with it or anything. They're so shocked they don't know what the fuck to do. And I think that's kind of what this was. Yeah. And everybody needed a minute to gather their their bearings and figure out, okay, yeah. what do we need to do here? And And honestly, you can't put distracted guys out there on the field the way that sure. they were, because like I say, somebody's going to get really fucking hurt. Yeah, and and five a five minute break, which is what they did, were going to do, is not going to be enough. So fuck that. Uh, but and fifteen, yeah, at least yeah. you need a fifteen, at, at least 15, basically 20. a second halftime is what they need. Yeah, it's just right to there sort all this out. And then, yeah, get back to fucking work. You're being paid well. Right. And so the implications of this game being postponed, as of right now, we just know that it's not going to be going on during uh, this week's slew of games, which as of right now, uh, I believe the Buffalo Bills are scheduled to play Sunday against the New England Patriots, uh, which actually the game is very important to both teams. Patriots win. They go to the playoffs. Uh, the Bills win. They have a chance to get the number one seat. Now, what happens to the game itself? Does it get rescheduled? Does it get pushed out? It fucks with the scheduling for NFL. I personally think that they're probably going to cancel it altogether. That's my that's my prediction. And and they would probably have to award each team a tie. 
Uh, yeah, I would assume so. so something like that. Because yeah. it was only seven to three, and it was middle of the first quarter. Correct. It was like right? Seven so, minutes left in the first. Yeah. yeah. So I mean, there's there's really no way there wasn't like one team was clearly kicking the shit out of the other team. It right. was a it was still very very competitive, and a lot of game left to play. Yeah. And so, but there's just no nobody has a contingency for something like this. Yeah. And there unfortunately just is no time to to do a makeup game. Correct. Unless. They play a doubleheader, which <laughs> Shit. I'm not against. <laughs> Let's play two. Let's do it. Let's Ernie Banks is son of a bitch. That's right. Uh, but with that being said, especially with us being in fantasy football, I, I want to briefly touch on this, and I'm going to move on. We don't have to. Um, yeah, we do. We, I say we just shit can the whole season. The fuck up. I agree. And just start over. <laughs> double, double, double the entry fees come next year. <laughs> Uh, of course you would. Why is it that you p- seem to play everybody when they shit the bed? I don't know. It's just luck. That's the real tragedy it, in all this. So this week was also our championship game in fantasy football. I have won two years in a row, and I am playing my stepdad, who, no bullshit, guys, he has been the uh, second-place winner in our league five times since it's, since the league has been a league. I beat him one year. Uh, yeah, you did. <laughs> the first year you came in, if I remember correctly. I mean, that, that serves him right, all the beatings he must have put right. on you. Um, as a kid growing up, because there's no way he can just beat you on the daily. <laughs> I know. So I got very, very lucky. He had it at Justin Jefferson who didn't show up. Uh, I, I ended up going into Monday night football with, I think like a 37 point lead, which in a standard four point quarterback league is that's a big fucking gap. Okay? And he had Jamar chase, Jamar and chase, Buffalo's defense and Buffalo which defense. can cancel each other out pretty much. Um, but here's the deal. There are a whole bunch of fantasy football uh, sites or hosts that people use that are basically just saying, ah, get fucked. Um, but basically as if, you know, Josh Allen or Buffalo's defense or Jamar Chase got hurt in the very first quarter, and that's un- unlucky for you. Sorry. Tough shit. Um, I think that's bullshit. I think that's absolute and total bullshit. And, and right now I'm, I'm in the driver's seat. I'm the one that is, is in a good spot to win. And I win if that's the case. I don't want that. As a, as a league, if you are doing that shit to people, you're fucking everybody over and making it not a fun league. So I think what we are deciding on doing, which we may or may not do, but I, I think if you are in those particular leagues and you are a commissioner, I think what you should do as the commissioner and a fair fantasy football player, that you should open up those those players, the Cincinnati Bengals players and the New England pa- – or sorry, the uh, Buffalo Bills players – um, for week 18, because both of the games that they play are relevant and they will be playing their starters the whole time. That way it doesn't fuck people that have Josh Allen, Jamar Chase, um, uh, Singletary. Uh, I mean, all of the guys. Uh, Mike I'm, Singletary? Yeah. Damn. Yeah. He's back. I He's have two back. of the three guys you just mentioned. Exactly. <clears throat> so, And they're not playing this week, you know, due to elimination. Right. Um, <laughs> look, so I just, and, that's and, my and I think most of the sites are doing that. Uh, because those are being run by a computer algorithm? Probably. Uh, I think any league commissioner could overrule there. And they should. Yeah. I think they should. That's my. Uh, that's what I believe. Sounds like he's trying to bully you into something, Derek. Well, I'm starting a new league next year, Jeremy. You're going to be in it. <laughs> Scotty Free League? Yep. That's fucked up, man. It sure is. Uh, Perspectives fine. of the midway. I mean, honestly, <laughs> here's here, yeah. here is here's the thing about it, Scotty. You, you do more fucking work in the off season than anybody I've ever even heard of. It's, it's quite frankly, it's true. Pathetic. I know. Uh, it's sad, is what it is. Uh, I have no social life whatsoever, and I don't do a thousand <laughs> mock drafts. <laughs> yeah, I know. I don't do one. I uh, just show up and do it. I know. And uh, so, yes, you. The amount of of extracurricular work that you put into it, you should win. What annoys the fuck out of me is the fact that you think we give a fuck. <laughs> it, ah. You bought a belt. That's the most annoying thing about it, and you get to keep it. That's that shows you they're. You know what? Steal from your church, gamble it away. <laughs> <laughs> there is no God. There's more honorable in that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I do all of that shit for one reason and one reason only, and that is to piss Derek the fuck off. That's why I do it, and I but, enjoy it. But every that's year. just the thing. Yeah. I don't think it pisses him off as much as you think it is. Mm. What pisses him off is the fact that you think it pisses him off a whole bunch. What <laughs> pisses me off is fucking five minutes for each draft pick and well, yeah, not washing and, your hands and after Jesus you pee Christ, and, I got to take a bath. No, <laughs> and, and 
analyze and everything. So no, that guys yeah. are going to scrub up. No more alcohol over no, at Derek's, Derek's, Derek's house, house for me. That's you, that's the new rule. Oh, I'll take thank God. Christian McCaffrey in the first round. Oh, what are you doing? What so, so now you only take four and a half minutes of draft. No, I promise I'll never do that again, and that's my fault. But it just shows. To, it goes to show you if you had a shitty draft, you can turn it around and, and uh, win the league. Okay, well, that's a sports, finally. Sorry, we went a little bit long, but uh, this is Jeremy's last episode, and we don't give a fuck. It is. It's a three-hour episode. Yeah, it's a three-hour one. Sit around, uh, get comfortable. Mm -hmm. Let's play three. That's right. I'll Uh, be right back. I'm going to go shoot myself. Yeah, yeah. If if you want to go home, take a nap, come back for the end. (laughs) Uh, so we're going to do something a little bit different this week. Uh, We normally have uh, real shit or horse shit. We are going to actually start with overrated or underrated uh, this week, uh, right here, right now. Um, because we got a new segment we're going to kick off here in a second. So we a hell of a week to do that. I know I did, and I can't wait to see what you do, because it's all it's supposed to highlight your talents there, Jeremy. Mm-hmm. So we're going to start off with this one. We're going to go overrated or underrated. Getting one over on the cops. It's 100% underrated. Fuck, yeah, it is. Always underrated. Now, I've never been in a lot of trouble with the police, yeah. but the couple times that I've gotten out of speeding tickets, whether it's for a bumper sticker about midgets or <laughs> thanking them for pulling me over, which has worked, uh, is always feels really good, and it always makes for a great story. It does. Uh, I I think it's fun whenever you sneak. You can actually get a gun past airport security. That's fucking awesome. Sure That's is. not a good idea. Or oh, even a no. box cutter. A box cutter. Sure. Oh, perfect. Yeah. Whenever whenever you can get one over on the on the man, fuck them. And I think it's way underrated. How about you, Jeremy? It, it is it is underrated. I'll be honest with you. Any on the rare occasion that this has ever happened to me, I haven't been in a whole lot of trouble with the cops. But whenever it <laughs> it has. Oh, okay. <laughs> that that I could have possibly talked my way out of. But yeah. whenever it does happen, seriously, you feel like Danny Ocean <laughs> yeah. in, in Ocean's Eleven. Like like you just pulled off the biggest heist. And yes, Derek's absolutely right. You want to tell everybody. everybody that's right. <laughs> Fuck the police. <laughs> that's right. Ah, oh, shit. That's good stuff. All right. Uh, How'd you get out of it? I cried. <laughs> I just started crying. He didn't know what to do. Shit my pants in the back of his uh, car. He let yeah. me go. Yeah. And I got these bitch and handcuffs out of it. <laughs> yeah. He didn't right. want to take those off. All right. Uh, so we're going to go on to the next one. Overrated or underrated? Wheels with spinners. Oh, overrated. <laughs> What? Come on, man. All wheels are spinners when they're moving. Mm-hmm. That's true. <laughs> but but the, the spinners stay still. I, I had a wheelchair that had spinners. <laughs> now that was underrated. <laughs> that was the coolest fucking Halloween costume I ever had. Uh, from wh- what you described, I agree. <laughs> yeah, I was a pimpa pelagic. <laughs> That's fucking great. Uh, my wheelchair was uh, purple crushed velvet. Oh, yeah. Nice. And mm-hmm. uh, it was spray painted gold and chrome as well. As it and should be. I had spinning rims on the son of a bitch. That's nice. Yeah. Yes. Nice. Yeah, that's awesome. I won first place at the bar that year. And the next year, I decided to bring it back. But the JB Weld kind of fucked up on one of the spinners. So I had one spinner. So I took third. I, oh, that's oh, horseshit. I can't believe that JB Weld has ever failed. <laughs> <laughs> I was at the titty bar for that one, and the best part was wheeling around the pole. Uh-huh. Oh, like, yeah. Because they would bring you to the stage, and that was like $1,000 for first place. I'm like, I'm going. <laughs> Fuck yeah. And I fucking show up, and I get the wheelchair out of the back of my 1995 <laughs> Mercury Cougar, mm-hmm. <laughs> which isn't very fun to load a wheelchair in the back of. And yeah, small trunk. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, it was in the back seat. Oh, oh okay. Yeah, it Fuck the trunk. Yeah, it wouldn't fit in the trunk, <laughs> yeah. Jeremy. And, uh, yeah, whenever they brought me on stage, I have a hold of the pole and a stripper pushing me around the pole. <laughs> and I'm just spinning my one spinner. <laughs> nice. yeah. Did you keep that side to the audience at least? No, that was the inside. Oh, oh that's why you lost. That fucking twat. Yeah. yeah she went and put you the wrong way. Sherry direction. needs to go counterclockwise. That's what needs to happen. <laughs> Yeah, back in the early 2000s, they were underrated. Now they're overrated, especially being in the automotive industry. They fucking suck. Jeremy? Uh, they are underrated, and I'll tell you why. Okay. You don't have to buy the full rim. You can just get hubcaps <laughs> with spinners on them, and you can just have regular rims, and, and nobody knows the difference. <laughs> nobody knows. He's right. You could go to Walmart and get them still, I think. Or you can make them. I don't have that kind of money. Stuff JB Weld. That's the biggest seller at Big Lots. Oh, is it? Uh Uh-huh. I'm (laughs) shocked. Spinning hubcaps. Uh, All right. They only make them, you can only have like 13-inch or smaller rims. Yeah, they're not... (laughs) 
We're not really up on the modern times. You and your Geo Metro mm-hmm. can have spinners. Mm-hmm. You got any, you my got Ford any, Fiesta. Got any spinning hubs for these low-profile mm-hmm. tires? I, got, <laughs> I put spinners on my Yugo. <laughs> Jesus. Okay. Uh, next one. Overrated or underrated? Edibles. Oh, way overrated. What? Are you talking food? <laughs> no. Weed. <laughs> yeah. Oh, edible they marijuana. Gummies. Yeah, it does nothing to me. What? Nothing. Oh, fuck. And I finally had talked to the pot guy at the store <laughs> when I was in Canada. <laughs> yeah. And he, I said, man, I don't know what it is. He had to explain like the difference between indica and sativa and all that shit. Mm-hmm. I thought they were just porn stars from the late 90s. Right. Mm-hmm. Um, but he had told me what one would do, the other would do, and then I told him I never really get anything off of him. And then he did say that uh, some people actually have an enzyme in their body that immediately breaks it down to where you don't really feel anything. You're and a I fucking think superhero. You are I, a fucking yeah, superhero. You're, you're an the, X-Man. That is the worst superpower sure it is. you could possibly have. <laughs> I can digest as much weed as you could feed in me, <laughs> yeah. and I won't feel a thing. That is the shittiest superpower. <laughs> like Aquaman looks cool next to <laughs> Bring it on, Magneto. <laughs> yeah. We're going to get in a weed eating contest. Yeah. Not smoking, <laughs> eating. Yeah, competitive weed eating. Mm-hmm. That's what I got in my future. We got deviled eggs infused with <laughs> weed, and we're going at it. And it uh, tastes like shit, too. Does it? I, I think it does. The I, one that I got wasn't too bad. I, I yeah. I, uh, so there, the one time that I've had an edible before, it was actually at Patton's uh, bachelor party. We all decided to go golfing. And uh, before we went golfing, they gave me an edible, and I had never tried them before. And uh, so I was like, ah, I'll take, I'll take like half of one. It, it, I, I don't want to get too fucked up, and that, that was a fucking awful goddamn idea. Um, I thought my face was melting off. I it, wish it would have. Oh, Jesus Christ. They are underrated as hell. And I don't mean underrated like fun. I mean underrated like... Are you like, talking Raiders of the Lost Ark style? Fuck yeah. Melting off? Oh, that would have been awesome. Oh, we dude. all know that you are, in fact, a Nazi. I was... <laughs> <laughs> nah, I thought, I thought I was fucking dying. And I just... Uh, it was... Uh, no. Uh, but underrated as hell. How about you, Jeremy? I, I think just marijuana in general is... is overrated uh it is just not my thing i don't care how you get it in your body Mm -hmm. um weed comedians are the worst because every one of their punchlines their jokes is because i was smoking weed that's true um and they they talk real slow on stage you know because they've been smoking weed right and uh no weed is just not for me i mean if it's your thing go for it i guess uh just know i find you obnoxious <laughs> okay and fair. i don't care how you're putting it in um yeah. now that's the thing uh they also don't make uh i believe low carb edibles no, so i can't i can't <laughs> have them, so there you go. This, these edibles mm. have gluten because I've I got a mm. thing. Yeah, I don't want my back to hurt yeah, right. while I'm on weed. You guys have any <laughs> you know? vegan edibles? Like that's, <laughs> I'm sure that's a fucking thing. Because that's what they're doing. They're putting them in meat. Yeah. <laughs> Here's some summer sausage, you know, with weed because <laughs> it's funny. Oh, uh, shit. All right. Uh, next one overrated or underrated? A gag reflex. Derek, you don't have one of these. It depends here. Um, overrated on a female because I'm not big enough to reach back there. <laughs> the only way I could gag a chick during a blowjob is if I didn't wash my nuts for two weeks. <laughs> um, smell like Jeremy's father-in-law. Mm. Uh, Going to ruin Christmas. That's right. <laughs> and probably Kwanzaa. <laughs> it's a whole new Christmas story. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then oh, uh, you're the new Scrooge. Right, yeah. On on me, very underrated because it lets me know that I don't want that. <laughs> so uh, whether it's a smell, whatever, uh, yeah. Uh, so depending on who it is, I have opposite answers. Okay. Uh, like cauliflower, that'll send me. Uh, I, yeah, that's true. I think that just is disgusting. Yeah, is what that is. That's not even gag that's reflex. That's what your father-in-law's nuts smell like. <laughs> cauliflower, yeah. burnt cauliflower. Yeah. God damn it, those are low carb. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ! Make mashed taters out of them. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think this is way underrated because kind of, kind of this uh, similar lines of what Derek was saying. If you can, if you can shove your dick in a girl's mouth and then eventually get her to go. <laughs> 
that's kind of hot. Yeah, I, mean, I can't do that. Yeah, I yeah. can't. I get her to do that when she sees it. Like, oh. <laughs> oh. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Um, no, I, I'm kind of embarrassed by this, but whenever I brush my teeth and I try to brush my tongue, mm-hmm. my wife thinks I'm, I'm fucking sucking somebody off in the bathroom. Well, you are. Fuck. You're supposed to use a toothbrush for that, Scotty. You're not <laughs> supposed to use somebody's I, wiener. I am totally using a toothbrush, but I, every fucking time I brush my tongue. Well, the problem is, is you're brushing your teeth in the truck stop at the bathroom. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the flying J. Yeah. Yeah, I know. That's where I go to brush my teeth every yeah. morning. Honey, I'll be back. I got to go to Emporia for an hour. <laughs> I only brush my... mouthwash. <laughs> I only brush my teeth at Perkins. <laughs> <laughs> After the pie. With pie, yeah. <laughs> Make a wish. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, uh, shit. Why does, every, why does every guy who comes to this wishing well wish to stick their dick in my mouth? Why is that? I don't know. <laughs> it's good pie, though. How about you, Jeremy? Uh, what's up? Okay, gag reflex. Um... Just in general, I'm going to say that it's very underrated because uh, it is necessary <laughs> for life. Uh, it, it serves an actual <laughs> biological purpose. It's not just about sucking dick. This is about uh, keeping people from choking to death, <laughs> uh, to which something that I probably would have done several times over because I used to just inhale food. Uh, I still do. Yeah. That's right. My, my gag reflex... Uh, has saved my life on a number of occasions. Unfortunately, I hate to admit it, I have the same affliction as Scotty does where my toothbrush does trigger it <laughs> just right on my tongue. I don't have to go deep at all. No. It, I can stick out my tongue as far as I want, and uh, you know, which oh. tells me that I... You guys are more than welcome to suck my dick. And that'll <laughs> sure. make me feel so much better about myself. I gag Scotty and Jeremy. That's right. Oddly enough, nine out of ten dentists approve. <laughs> Oh, shit. All right. Uh, Oddly, that 10th dentist, Mm -hmm. JP. (laughs) Really? Yeah. You would think he'd super approve. (laughs) No. That's Uh, that that one dentist who says flossing's no good, too. Right. JP actually brushes his throat. I I can't believe he has an advanced degree, honestly. (laughs) He's the world's only homeless dentist. (laughs) JP, you ever been brushing your esophagus? (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> I got him. You made yeah. him snort. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, Derek Alders, everybody. Made Jeremy <laughs> Joseph I, I snort. I snorted. Oh, that's great. Just thinking about cock and sucking it down. <laughs> oh, yeah, man. that's what JP does. That's right. <laughs> Uh, he doesn't. JP, oddly enough, doesn't even use that little vacuum attachment <laughs> to put it in your mouth. He just. <laughs> <laughs> shit. He, just, he is just naturally prone to sucking. That's mm-hmm. right. Uh, last one, <laughs> overrated or underrated, drunk arguments. Oh, overrated. Oh. As a former bartender, those lead to fights. <laughs> yeah, and do. it's over the stupidest shit in the fucking world. Oh, yeah. So That wait. was my quarters on the pool table. <laughs> oh, my God. That's half the fights right there, pool. Yep. Uh, the you other smashed half- a beer bottle <laughs> over my head. <laughs> no, you that warlock. Was, that was meth. <laughs> Don't talk shit on the Jets. <laughs> oh, fuck you up. Because, <laughs> you know, big Jets contingency <laughs> around here. We're talking J-E-T-S. <laughs> yeah. Winnipeg, even. Uh, Not even New York, Winnipeg Jets. <laughs> Chad Pennington's more of a man uh, than you'll ever be, you fucking pussy. Uh, Oh, shit. Why, why you got to talk shit on J.P. Lossman? Come on. <laughs> uh, the poker machine took my money. Okay. Uh, yeah, this is way overrated. Uh, what? Are we talking watching or having? <laughs> Both. <laughs> Both. Um, uh, I've, I've had these, and especially if you're the drunk person and you realize it, you need to shut the fuck up. You, that's how you stay out of trouble. Uh, overrated as hell, uh, but to yeah. watch them, kind of fun. I remember one time at Quick Trip, I got in a drunk argument with a guy uh, yeah. that worked there. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Shit. I, had, I, w- I was going through a bad way, and I decided I was going to see. I was like, hey, I bet I can finish a whole handle of rum in a day. <laughs> and uh, I got real close. Uh, I, went, I went to a buddy's house and uh, after halfway through, and we were hanging out playing cards, bullshitting, and I had about... Oh, just a smidge left in the bottle. Mm-hmm. And I was, he's like, you should just stay here. And I was like, yeah, I'm going to do that. <laughs> and so I was like, hey, I got to pee. We'll be right back. 
And then I went upstairs and I had the stupid hide a key underneath my truck, the little magnetic thing in my wheel well. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But it had my truck key and my house key. So I grabbed my fucking thing of rum and I'm like, ha ah, fucker. <laughs> and I decided, go, let's, let's drive home. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> You kept both keys in the magnetic hide a key. Because yeah. in, inside the glove box is something that gives your address. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so I fucking, uh, I get to. By the way, Scott, did you ever keep your garage door open or back? <laughs> yeah, I didn't. Good. No, I had to get uh, good. I had to get new garage. Anyways, so, go on. So, so I, I get to quick trip because I'm like, you know what I need? I need some more coke to go with my rum. Sure you so do. I, fucking, <laughs> I need a smidge of coke. Yeah. So I, I got to my rum. I pull into. Uh, I was drinking diet coke because I was being spiced, healthy. Spice rum. Oh yeah, it was Sailor Jerry. Fuck yeah, yeah Sailor. Couldn't the even shit. get fucking Captain Morgan. <laughs> Sailor Jerry's is stronger. Yeah, Sailor Jerry's is better proof. too. Yeah, it's better. That's because it's made out of turpentine. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. It's, it's made from it's, Johnny. Johnny Depp's sweat. <laughs> it was made in Johnny Depp's bathtub. Yeah. So I fucking go to Quick Trip, and I'm like, I need a goddamn two liter of Diet Coke. <laughs> so I open the door, and I get my two liter of Diet Coke, and then drop it. And I don't know how, but I hit that thing just right on the tile that it spritzes all over the fucking place. You bust a like, hole in it. You look like, no. I think I just hit that seal. Per- you look. You would have thought I just won the championship. <laughs> okay. I'm spraying fucking Diet Coke everywhere. And I'm like, <laughs> yeah, that's right. Right? I'm like, oh, fuck, oh, fuck, oh, fuck, oh, fuck. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. And I go and get another bottle. Drop it. Same thing. Oh, my God. Yeah. <laughs> Boom. Two bottles all over the fucking place. And, and, I'm like, and now there's no way they think this is an accident. <laughs> no. So then I go and get a third bottle, and I carry it g- very gingerly. Like, it's a newborn baby that I actually <laughs> sure. want to keep. Put it in a papoose. And, and I get it up to the fucking uh, the counter, and I said, I'm so sorry. Well, let me pay for all of these. And I need a towel. <laughs> He's like, no, man, just get the hell out of here. And he rings me up for the one. And I'm like, no, no, man. Uh, let me let me have a talk. I'll, I'll, I'll clean this up. And he goes, no, man. I, I, I love the drunk mentality that you think that they want you to stick around any yeah. longer than you absolutely have to. No matter what damage you cause, yeah. they want you gone. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And it's like, it's 1030 at night. I'm, it's not even 2 a.m. And I'm like, uh, let me just let's just give you a towel. He won't give you a towel. Oh, so the bars are just now getting going. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Oh, yeah. Bars are getting fun at this yeah. point. I started at 9 a.m. Uh, <laughs> so, well, yeah, it's a fucking handle. Yeah. So I fucking finally I go here. Just here's twenty dollars. Just keep your change. <laughs> And he's like, because that's going to take care of it. He goes, no, I don't want the change. And so I finally fucking, all of a sudden, for some reason, my wherewithal went. And I was like, oh, fuck. I'm right next door to a police substation. I need to leave now. Uh And I just grabbed my shit and got home safely. (laughs) Naturally. So, yeah, I was uh, in a full-blown argument you with that guy. You didn't have to talk your way out of it. No, no. You one over on him. No, I I'm think good. I don't think I could have got one over on that guy. <laughs> you should have busted somebody out of jail yeah. over there. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's Just a- wherever you're, you you had your truck, You, I'm sure you had access to a tow cable, just hook yeah. it up to the grates on the window yeah. and drive away because that's how that works. Yeah, that's the, way, that's, that's the way you win the game right mm-hmm. there. Drunk arguments and getting one over on the cops Fuck at the yeah. same time. Oh, Absolutely. that was the worst. Nah, man. Uh, how about you there, Jim? <laughs> <laughs> are, we, are we just now getting to me? Yeah, we are. We are talking about drunk arguments. <laughs> yeah, drunk arguments, man. I, I am firmly of the belief that if they would lower the drinking age to 16, that debate would be the most watched event in all of high school sports. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, fuck you. <laughs> That's what I think of your goddamn policies. <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> Communism is great. <laughs> you, know, you know what it is? I'll tell you what it is. Everybody for everything. <laughs> <laughs> Motherfucker. Where's my mom? That's right. Uh, so, yes, I, I do from time to time enjoy watching a drunk argument. At the same time, I... Oh, God damn it. I am such a slave to logic, <laughs> and it never gets used. Which, by the way, I'm going to say this. Derek Alders here may be the hardest person to talk out of not driving <laughs> drunk. His, he, he knows now that that's a bad idea, mm-hmm. but 
Come boozy time? Oh, yeah. Come <laughs> oh, 1.30 in the morning? You can't talk him out of it. <laughs> I, we literally had to tell him, we'll take it to McDonald's. <laughs> I mean, it took a lot to get him to not drive home. Uh, yeah. yeah. I will come pick you up tomorrow and take you to your car, I promise. And we'll get McDonald's. <laughs> yeah, not my proudest. Uh, yeah. Yeah. And, uh, and it, it was fine. I'm, we won. Yeah. We won that debate. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We, we used the, well, fuck you debate. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to say that was July 3rd of uh, 2020. Twenty. Yeah, that sounds about right. That's that about was the weekend <clears throat> that I hosted for you. I opened up for you. <laughs> no, that was the Uncle Roy's thing when we did the cornhole tournament. That was what that okay. Was. We've talked you out of it twice. <laughs> <laughs> this one time we took you to your house from the loony bin. Oh yeah, I do remember that. <laughs> and you kept trying. <laughs> we, we we got you McDonald's and you kept trying to Venmo us the money. It's like, dude, we'll buy you a McChicken for serious. We can handle a dollar. Right. Yeah, I remember that now. Yep. 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 Okay. And, and then I came and got you. Yep. Yeah. Okay. I was true to my word. You were. So yeah, underrated. Okay. All right, now we get to move on to a new segment. I'm very excited about this. This is called. Um, I'm gonna need a beer for this. Okay, you get a beer. This is called Let's Be Google. What do I you should think? have got a 12-er. Yeah. Uh, yeah this is, you remember should've. when I went 12? Who the fuck needs 12? <laughs> Me on my sure. last episode. That's what happens. That's I right. have to work tomorrow. Uh, we're going to call this Let's Be Google. Um, there are a, There's a whole bunch of stupid shit that all over the world people Google. And uh, I found a list. And uh, it is some of the dumbest shit I've ever seen. And we get to play Google. Uh, all three of us. Uh, so I'm going to read something that somebody Googled, and we get to answer it. That's what. That's the game. That's a new game. Let's play Google. All right? Let's do. Let's do. Uh, first one, which smells worse, human urine, cat urine, or dog urine? Cat piss. <laughs> really? A thousand fucking percent cat piss. <laughs> that's how you answer it? It's not even oh. close. <laughs> cat piss. Oh, God. Yeah, yeah. I, I've I've pissed myself. Yeah. The next day, I haven't went. Oh God! I just go. Did I? <laughs> I th- did I? Cat piss is fucking predominant. Yeah, that's true. Oh my! I had a neighbor that her. Uh, we lived in a duplex, and she had cat piss in mm-hmm. that fucking duplex. She didn't have a cat, mm-hmm. but the people that lived there before her did, and they never replaced the carpet. She replaced one square of carpet in that closet, in her closet, made all the difference in the world in how her clothes smelled. Yes. Cat piss is the worst fucking thing in the world. Let me tell you why Derek is 100% correct. When anybody describes something that smells absolutely awful, like dying old people or somebody's car or something like that, they don't and ever say... And we all know Derek's always describing dying old people. That's right. Well, uh, I can, it's the only way I can get hard. Whenever, sure it is. Whenever the description is... That black licorice. It smells so bad. It's never... It smells like human piss or dog piss. It's always... It smells like cat piss. Cat piss is 10 times worse. People that have litter boxes in their fucking house that think that it's special and it has like a nice smell to it, kiss my fucking ass. It's disgusting. Cat piss. Jeremy? This this is why I will never own a cat. Mm-hmm. Uh, it, it has absolutely nothing to do with whether I do or don't like cats. I'm, I'm fine with cats. I'm not allergic like Derek. Yeah. Uh, cats are horrible creatures. Yeah. I can tell you that. But as far as how they are with me, I mean, it depends on the cat. Um, but you can, if you walk into somebody's house, you can always tell if they're a cat owner or not. Hundred percent. And oh, uh, yeah. they can't seem to tell that it's n- not normal for something to shit in a box mm-hmm. or piss in a box. <laughs> now here, because I'm playing Google, right? <laughs> yeah, you are. Who's asking the question? <laughs> Is it a person? A cat or a dog, <laughs> because that will definitely define the answer. Because whether something smells bad or not is a matter of personal perspective, and the human olfactory senses are actually very specifically tuned uh, to things that are harmful to us. You know why farts smell bad? Why? There is a gas in farts, a very small trace amount Method. that is 
No? No, there's actually a fair amount of methane in oh, farts. Okay. okay. Uh, it, it, I can't remember the name. It's like... Methamphetamine. Uh, yeah, meth- yeah, yeah methamphetamine. That's what it is. You've got to rock yeah, that yeah. shit up, yeah. put it in the pipe, and smoke it. And, dude, you'll be going all night long. There ain't no way you're dropping that two liter. And if you do, you're definitely cleaning it. You brought, you brought a towel, for sure. Oh, you're definitely you're, breaking you're, down. You're, on, you're not on your way home. You're on your way out to the bar at 1030. Right. Oh, God shit, damn. You, need, you definitely need more coke. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> diet of course because that's that's the nice thing about meth a lot of people don't know that no carbs that's uh, right. okay there's um, no carbs in drano no there's there's a gas in, gas in farts that is absolutely 100 percent lethal to human beings it's in very tiny trace amounts but we have like uh developed our sense of smell to be so sensitive to anything that could be harmful to us mm-hmm. that we will smell even the faintest amounts of it whereas like a dog it's not fatal to dogs so they can sit there in your fart cloud all day long and they're <laughs> fine with it same way with piss uh with <laughs> with humans there's actually pheromones in piss we actually kind of think our own pee smells good <laughs> Whereas a cat or a dog would see us as a predator, (laughs) and if they smell human piss, they're like, no, this sucks. we got to get the fuck out of here. What's this wee shit? (laughs) Sounds to me like Jeremy likes golden showers over here. I know you guys can smell my clothes, all right? (laughs) (laughs) That's ancient Chinese secret. Okay? Cow gone and piss. Uh, And and gambling. Yeah. At at the laundromat. Golden Uh, showers bring superpowers, motherfucker. But no, uh, to they say, you know, if you want to keep like uh, deer from eating the plants in your house, piss in your yard because that will keep them away. Because to deer, that is the worst smell in the world because we're predators to them. The easiest way to keep deer from eating plants in your house is to not let them in your fucking house. (laughs) That's exactly right. You said in your house. Yeah. Why That's are you the letting way. you just fucking raising <laughs> Bambi over here? What? Uh, <laughs> he was on the road hitching a ride. <laughs> a lot of people don't know. Yes, hooves, cloven hooves, but also opposable thumbs <laughs> hitching a fucking ride. <laughs> Then he pulled a knife, that's and that's, right. that's, that's right. where everything went wrong. That's right. Now, okay, listen. I realize that financially I'm better off than some people, but some of us can't afford doors. Okay, <laughs> so yeah, deer come in sometimes. <laughs> oh because shit! Oddly enough, deer eat a lot of carbs. Yeah. Um, so, but in deer itself, no carbs. <laughs> That's why I lure them in with bread and such. <laughs> uh, secondhand gluten, Jeremy. You got to be careful. That's what, right. What Pulls was, out his rifle and shoots Bambi's mom. What was the question? <laughs> Which one smells worse? Cat piss. Yeah. It's yeah. All day long. I, all day long. I, I work with a guy who uh, perpetually smells like strong, strong cat piss, which some people say uh, eat. That's a sign of somebody who cooks meth. Uh huh. Cooking meth smells like cat piss. Uh huh. Uh, pretty oh. strong cat piss. Except Blue. there's no possible way this guy cooks that much meth. <laughs> it is every day to where you can't come within five feet of him. Yeah, I know somebody like um, that. We don't know exactly what's going on because he doesn't claim to own a cat. Oh, He's shit. a dog guy. Yeah, I, I know, and it, but it, they exist, and it's m- awful. Maybe that's just his pheromones. It could I don't be. know. Could be. Uh, next one. It's a turtle. Have you met my turtle, Manny? Oh. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Not turtly enough for you? Turtles and snakes smell bad, too. Just They're throwing it out there. Right, but that's a different smell. That's, it is that's a different stank. Yep. Uh, right. Next one. Play Google. <sighs> Who ate all of the bananas and took a dump in the hallway? It's still under investigation. We haven't figured that out. He hangs out at Jeremy's work. That's what it is. Okay. There. Somebody asked this? Yes, somebody legitimately asked this. This was a Google search. So you know what's telling me that? It's um, probably the guy who did it, trying to see if they figured it out. That's that's my other guess. How about you guys? I didn't even see this question on here. Yeah, it's up there. Okay, all right. I see it yeah. now. I'm going to go with by curious George. By curious George? Yeah, yeah. absolutely. That's how, that makes sense. He, he just swallowed them whole. Yeah. How about you, Jeremy? I did. <laughs> you did? Yeah, monkeys. When I was when I was uh, taking a break from carb and low carb. Okay. Uh, I think about monkeys, no gag reflex. Mm-hmm. That's right. So it was definitely by curious George. I'm surprised they uh they didn't feel that. That is true. You. Most monkeys are born without a uvula. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> which okay. sounds dirty, but it's just that punching bag thing in the back of your throat. <laughs> okay. Uh, next one. Is it healthy to fart? No. Apparently. It's not. It's not. Because if it was, I would be on the cover of Muscle and Fitness. <laughs> And my wife would not disagree. I <laughs> fart more than anyone known to man. I can't belch. It all comes out the other end. That's weird. It's so weird. Yeah. And, and they don't stink all of the time. No. Only when I have to shit. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. Which I usually like to save up a couple days worth before I come over here. Because I know Scotty looks forward to my farts. No, I don't. I really don't. I just thought about something. And uh, no, it, it cannot be healthy to fart. Uh, but uh, this legitimately happened last night. Last night, I'm I'm going to embarrass myself because it's Jeremy's last episode, and I don't care. So last night, I, me and Derek both have been kind of sick, and and I've been having some stomach stuff. Oh, you sharded, didn't you? I'll tell you. Yep. So That's I, I that <clears throat> so so last night, last night before we went to bed, I went up there. My wife had already been laying down for a little bit, and uh, I was getting ready to crawl in her bed, but I had to go pee. So I go into the bathroom uh, and I start to pee. And most guys, whenever they got to go pee, they got to fart. It's just kind of something that happens. Not all the time, but most of the time. Ooh. Yeah. And so I think to myself, like, oh, shit, I got to take a fart. So I'm going to pee and fart at the same time. No big deal. I sharted my pants. And I... Uh, well, that's good. You didn't shart your shirt. <laughs> <laughs> no. But I, I sharted his I hat. sharted my <laughs> shoes, guys. <laughs> shit came right at my heels. I sharted. I don't know what happened. But All over the back. I wall. was getting a manicure, but and I sharted my high heels. But I found myself into a little bit of a predicament. What am I supposed to do? Just walk out into my my bedroom and my wife like be there and like it's your fucking house. Be a man. I know, but I was in one of those situations. She knows you poop. Yeah, here's I know what she knows you, you do. And you've announced that but, she does. But I'm a 35 year old man who sharts on a regular occasion, and I'm only 35. Here's what you do in this situation. Yep. You walk up to her. You spread your ass cheeks at part and ask her if you <laughs> got, got it all, all out. out. Yeah. Uh, and if she says, get away from me, <laughs> get a divorce. That's right. Because only a true person who loves you would tell you the answer to that. That's exactly right. No, mm -hmm. I, uh, instead I went in there and Can I, I recommend. Yeah. Mentos. Mentos. <laughs> Not <laughs> with Derek spilled diet Coke. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. That's a problem. So instead I go in, I go into the bedroom, take off my pants, my underwear, and uh, still have my shirt on. And I go, I, I walk out there and I go, I'm going to take a shower. So I go in there, take a shower, and I think I get away with it. And I come out, and I'm all dressed up. And she goes, you shit your pants, didn't you? I go, yeah. you sure did. <laughs> That's my wife. Scotty's going to have to start peeing naked. Yep. Uh, probably. How about you, Jeremy? Okay. Um, okay. Farting is most definitely healthy. Uh, <laughs> here's, here's what farts are. <laughs> they are the gas that comes off of poo, uh, <laughs> which is rotting, decaying food that the hydrochloric acid in your stomach has set into motion <laughs> and is now rotting inside of your, of your gut. Um, Third time poop. for the right away. <laughs> That's right. Poo is the most... Poop. toxic <laughs> vile substance that our bodies create and there's a reason that we poop it out is because it's essentially poison to us um yeah it's true so septic shock is a thing while people may not enjoy it being up in the air you're really not going to enjoy keeping it inside of you <laughs> you know where all your important shit is so yes um Pooping is here. Here's what's really fucking weird. Can I say this? Go for it, man. I'm gonna go off on a tangent here. Oh no! This, and and this is how two another, and a half hour episode today, guys. Another reason why I know that God may not exist. <laughs> Shit. Okay. Here's the thing. Poop is the most vile, toxic substance that our bodies excrete. Uh, it is teeming with awful shit, including bacteria that can kill you if it gets in your bloodstream. Right. Yep. And yet, on men, that's where God put our most erogenous zone. <laughs> Everything about your asshole is saying, don't go up here. It's a one-way directional thing, and yet it put your cum button right in there. Right up in there. Why would he do that? I don't know. Why would he do that? we got to ask JP. Oh, shit. Yeah, he's a man of the cloth. <laughs> he's a religious guy. Yeah, he's really religious. Okay, uh, next one. Uh, play Google. How do you get a mattress out of a pool? What? Yeah. 
Can you think of how to get a mattress out of the pool? You need a winch. That's the only way that bitch is coming out. No. So the exact opposite of what Derek said last week, or no, two weeks ago, or maybe it was three, I don't know, about how somebody was putting a mattress in the back of their truck yeah, and they, yeah, yeah. they're trying to hold on to it. Yeah. Whenever, they make some of the best kites of all time. <laughs> they do. At high speeds, yeah. But when they're wet, they're heavier than shit, and it's not going to fucking come up from the bottom of the pool. So, yes, you need a winch. Derek. Warlock. Yep. You need a warlock. Yeah, one magic. Yeah, 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 yeah. You recover it at Crazy Jay's bed shop. That's right. And you sell it. Yep. How about you, Jeremy? Uh, you're better off getting yourself a truck full of hydraulic cement and just paving over it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And making it the bottom of your pool now. That's right. You you went from a five footer to a four footer. And <laughs> just how, That's you how just gotta accept it. That's right. Okay, last one. Uh play Google. What is the medical term for when all of your arteries and veins are totally clogged with fat? Dead. That's it. You're dead. How about you, Derek? Marbleized. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's what I think. You're Delicious. Gonna, yeah, yeah, absolutely. W- wag you. Yeah, wag you. <laughs> <laughs> Wagyu. Pretty sure that's what that is. That's pretty much, yeah, it's probably pretty accurate. How about you, Jeremy? Butterbean. <laughs> Butterbean. <laughs> I'm sure he just walked around it that <laughs> yeah. way, yeah. Absolutely. I know there's another one in there, he but had, we're going to wait that for next He week. kept clarified butter <clears throat> in his boxing gloves. A lot of people don't know that. That's a fun fact. What? Not true. I just <laughs> okay. made that up, but I'm just saying. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, now we're going to move on to questions. Uh, yeah, this is a fun part of every episode. It's Jeremy's favorite part, so this is the last time he gets to experience it, at least for until he comes back. Uh, we skipped one, Jeremy. We're only going to do five this week. Good. All right. Thank God. First. <laughs> Six would have just run me ragged. I know. So, uh, anyways, uh, first question. Ooh, I like this one. Who was the worst teacher you've ever had? Oh, Easy. Yeah. Sophomore year geometry teacher, Mr. Kralik. Okay. Um, he would, I remember, would just look at everybody's homework. <laughs> it's something that Jeremy would do. Uh-huh. Uh, and just look at it and just go, trash. And just throw it all right <laughs> oh, in the trash. Oh, wow. Damn. Uh, I, I've never been in a class where the entire class failed. So the way it worked for us is like you had first quarter, second quarter, semester exam. That was geometry one. Mm -hmm. And you would have third quarter, fourth quarter, final exam. If you failed any of those two in a row, you flunked geometry one or geometry two. Mm -hmm. So if you failed first quarter, got a B in second quarter and failed the exam, you passed. Yeah. If you got an A first quarter, failed second quarter, failed the exam, you failed. Jeez. So he gave everybody an H. Because oh. the entire class had failed. So That's whatever you, lower than an F. Right? That's way lower. So anything that you, whatever you got on the final would reflect what your second or your fourth quarter was. So I thought I had to take the class again because I failed the final. And uh, Did you ever think maybe you'd have gotten on his good side if you actually took geometry? Oh, God. You were just in there wasting his fucking time. Yeah. That's pretty much probably the problem. Oh, yeah. man. Regular Mr. Escalante. Yeah, te- yeah. Teachers don't like that. <clears throat> uh, so, yeah. So... The next year, I went and enrolled in Geometry 1 and 2 again. Mm-hmm. And, like, my first day, they're like, hey, what are you uh, – you need to come down to the counselor's office. So I get down there and come to find out I didn't even need to take the class. Somehow, that got changed to a passing grade. And I was like, how many years of math do I need? And they're like, two. And I'm like, I'm done. <laughs> so Score! Uh, I ended up getting in uh, the only class I could get into, which was Electrical Energy. And I was with a lot of special needs kids in that class. Nice. So it was a very boring fucking class, but right very entertaining. Yeah. Very entertaining. I'm sure. But that was the worst teacher I've ever fucking had. Yeah. The worst, Not a really good story, but he was fucking awful. The worst teacher I've ever had, I don't even remember her fucking name. Uh, she was my, uh, she was a college professor at Friends University and she taught history. And uh, I, I had a, a roommate whenever I was in college who was uh, Native American. And one of the, uh, one day we ended up talking about, Something to have to do with Native Americans, and uh, she was making some kind of a segue into it about Native Americans, and Alonzo, uh, my roommate, go, starts doing the drum thing, the mm-hmm. that, yeah, whatever, whatever, me. Yeah, yeah. whatever. and uh, she got pissed. This is a like, 55-year-old white lady that just got just 
steaming pissed off. There's a fine line between pissed and horny. Uh, you're right. And uh, which she, is it? She, she she was pissed. Okay, all right. And she started ridiculing in front of the ridiculing him in front of the class and 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 getting pissed at him because this is not a joke. This is Native American history and blah 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 blah. Alonzo is also Native American, and so he said that to her, and she was like the beginning of that whole woke crowd. And uh, me and him were not in that class for very much longer. So fuck that bitch. Yeah, hmm. Jeremy. Uh, interesting fact about me in high school, I, uh, came one question away from acing the geometry portion of my ACT and I never took geometry. <laughs> oh, wow. Uh, yeah. Uh, go, so, um, anyways, uh, no, mine was my fifth grade teacher, Mrs. Miller, <clears throat> uh, a cunt of outrageous proportion. <laughs> this is my last episode. I can say shit like that. Uh, <laughs> a- as a kid who was a, uh, severe chronic insomniac. With uh, ADHD, at the same time, it was blatantly obvious that I was somebody who had issues and needed some help. And she just took it as a, an excuse to just be a sadistic twat. <laughs> that was her. She believed she could uh, just, I don't know, embarrass it out of me or something. So she took every goddamn opportunity she could to belittle me, which basically made the entire class then feel like they were better than me. Uh, That was her thing. This didn't happen to me, but it happened to another kid in my class who had some learning disabilities. And I just remember her stopping in the middle of a lecture to go, Bill, don't pick your nose. Oh, Fifth grade, you know, like when you're hitting puberty, coming into your own in front of everybody in your class, and she points out the fact that this kid was picking his nose. She was a bully extraordinaire and the wife of the principal. So, oh, great. Yeah, she was uh, really, really, really loved to just throw her power around. And she, uh, <clears throat> I believe, stayed a teacher until she retired, May, might still be a teacher, and uh, really should have maybe been arrested. <laughs> I'm going to. If okay. nothing else, should not have been sculpting young minds because she was a twat. <laughs> okay. Did I, did I mention that? Did I, yeah, did you I did. use the C word for that cunt? Mm-hmm. Yeah, you did. Okay. You, sh- you sure did. Mm. All right. Uh, next question. What are the best investment opportunities in Nigeria? Oh. Um, crypto beef. Crypto beef? Mm. Yeah, it's digital meat. Digital beef? Oh, yeah. Sure. Yeah. Wow. Mm-hmm. That's, okay. That's all the rage Very right low now. carb. Yes. Okay. All right. Crypto carb. Mm-hmm. Okay. Gotcha. Uh, I'm going to go with UPS trucks. I'm going to take one from Sam Kinison. I oh, 100% yeah. agree with him on this. Well, those are U-Hauls, Scott. Mm-hmm. Oh, U-Hauls. Well, oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, uh, I'll go with U-Hauls. Then. You don't want to deliver those folks things. No, you don't. <laughs> yeah. Here, no. Here's some plates, you hungry bastard. <laughs> Maybe you'll get to use yeah. them someday. Yeah. Here's some shit from Sears. They went out of business, too. Yeah. <laughs> They're broke just like you are. <laughs> yeah. Either that or like United States T-shirt companies or something like that. But anyways, how about you, Jeremy? Uh, well, from what I gather, based on uh, all the information I've looked up about Nigeria, it is full of African Americans. <laughs> it is. And uh, <laughs> Americans, yeah. what, what I learned about them last week is they love roller rinks, apparently. <laughs> so I'm going to say skating rinks. Okay. So <laughs> yeah, that's I mean, true. they're star for shit to do. That's true. You missed it last week, Derek. I went to a I went to an he African American roller birthday. skating with a black fella <laughs> uh, for, for, for New Year's. No, it was for his birthday. Say, I know there was that one for on his New birthday. Year's. It was for his birthday. It's his day. This is what he wanted to do. That's what he wanted. The same guy who wanted to play kickball. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> Remember that guy? Yeah. Okay. Good old Meiji. Uh, no break dancing, no nothing. No nothing. Um, Whatever they do. Well, there was some break dancing with skates. Just saying. Uh, next question. What is the magical way to gain weight? Fucking visit your mother. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's Jesus true. Christ. My mother spent all day yep. fucking cooking. Mm-hmm. All day. Fucking like, and cooking? For breakfast. She cooked like some French toast casserole. Mm. I'm full from that. And then she, she kind of fell asleep a little bit, and we were just kind of sitting there watching football, nodding on and off. Then all of a sudden, she makes a cheese ball. She makes sausage bread, which she swore as I ate as a kid and loved, but I wouldn't have eaten it because it had vegetables in it. It was really good as a kid. It really sounds like eating. there should be meat. There's meat, too. Basically There's meat, bread. but if there was any, you were not going to trick me with a vegetable as a child. Uh, fair enough. Mm-hmm. So it, it was really good. She made that. She made... Uh, Yeast, homemade yeast rolls. She made beef and noodles. She made prime rib. She made 
Jesus oh, Christ. Oh, dude, and she didn't get to all of it. And wow. this was, this was dip. lunch. Yes. She said, I've got so much fucking food in my fr- deviled eggs, so much fucking food in my fridge. Mm-hmm. I don't know what the fuck I'm going to do. Well, most of it won't go bad in there. Leave it. Oh, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Leave it alone. Leave, leave it for another time when everybody's hungry. Put it in crypto. Yeah. No shit. Yeah. yeah. Crypto. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, mine's really easy. Uh, you guys won't know what this is unless you guys actually live here in Wichita. But there is a place that our buddy owns uh, called Wind Pigs Fly. If you walk into that fucking place, you're getting a lot of food. And it's all delicious. It's all amazing. But, um, yeah, you're gaining some fucking weight. Man, he fucking got me. The, the best fucking Christmas present of all time. That was pretty fucking cool. That was pretty fucking cool. He, he told me about it, and I was like, you're so awesome. Yeah, he, he fucking gives it to me. He's like, I just want you to know. Never going to spend as much money on you for Christmas again. <laughs> and I was like, oh, fuck. Right? Because we, we collect autographs and shit, so we trade Unlimited Ubers? <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> you know I would never use that. I know. Because <laughs> you're drunk most of the time. Yeah. Spilling all your goddamn Diet Coke. Yeah. But uh, so we collect autographs, and he ended up, uh, he got me a, an, it's an index card, because there's not a lot of just different stuff with him out there. Hervé Villachay. Chris Farley. Oh, yeah. So I've decided how I'm going to frame this, and I'm going to get uh, a photo of the SNL skit, the Bears. Mm-hmm. That skit. Oh, man. And so I can I've, make you a custom frame. I have went and bought uh, everybody but one person from that skit now, and I'm missing one, and I cannot find it. Who? Uh, Robert Smigler. Smigel. Oh. Smigel, Robert Smigel. Yep. Uh, yeah, I don't know why I said Smigel. Robert Smigel. I cannot is, find it. Triumph the Insult Comic. Yes. Book. Cannot find it. He he was the original. Was it Bob Swarsky or it was Bill it was Swarsky? always Bill Swarsky hosted by his brother Bob, which was always played. But the original one was hosted by by Bob Smigel. So I ended up with I've got now Farley, Mike Myers, uh, Joe Mantegna. Montaigne. Yeah, <laughs> Montaigne. Yeah. Is it? Yeah. Okay. Joe oh. Montaigne. I don't, I don't know how to pronounce it. So I got Joe Montaigne, Chris Farley, Mike Myers, and because I remembered him being in them, but he's not very iconic in them, uh, George Went. So I'm missing. I, I don't remember Joe Montaigne ever being in one. Mm-hmm. He's an Italian, always mm-hmm. played gangsters. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yep. He's in there uh, as well. He's, he's a voice in the Simpsons of the gangster. Yes. Mm. So Big Tony. I, yeah. And he's in, I think a fucking late night, like veterans commercial or some shit. Mm. But, uh, yeah. So I cannot find Robert Smigel on anything. But, so, but to come full circle, when pigs fly, mm-hmm. amazing food, go in there. You're going to get fat. Okay. Mm-hmm. Every, every time somebody hands him something, he says, Oh, this is great for me to poop on. <laughs> yeah. And so, yes. and then yes. he does cause it's good for you. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. How about you, Jeremy? What's up? Uh, What's a magical way to gain weight? Well, before I did this low-carb diet, I spent an entire year doing what they said was supposed to be good for you. Uh, It's a candy cane diet. (laughs) All candy canes all the time. That's all I ate for a year straight. And uh, believe it or not, gained 78 pounds. (laughs) Wow. Uh, Odd fact about Jeremy, not his real foot. Yeah. No, yeah. no. Yeah. It's actually made of candy cane. Mm. <laughs> right. It smells delicious. It's actually just It smells like mint and cat piss. Blood is just hardened. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it smells yeah. like Wagyu. Yeah, I can't actually change this shoe. <laughs> it's got a permanent clot in it, and if I take the shoe off, it'll just start flowing. <laughs> I have to put a bread bag over it, and somebody took all the fucking twist ties and put them on the cocks. There you go. So, yeah, I can't even do that. All right. Next question. What's the least popular item in the Victoria's Secret catalog? Anything in the baby section? Oh, shit. <laughs> I would say it's probably oh, not very fuck. popular. Oh, God, that's fucking terrible. Baby's first thong. Oh, good son of a yeah, bitch. Probably not a good uh, oh. Not a good one. No. I don't think they make those in pull-ups either. I don't, <laughs> Jesus Christ. They're not absorbent at all. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> can, can I say something else, by the way, about... Uh-huh. Uh, a commercial that I kept seeing while I was organizing my garage, watching football about what are they? They're like depends curves or something. <laughs> really? For for women to wear, they look like panties, <laughs> but they're extra absorbent. Now, here's the thing that I have learned about in, in, having been in a long term marriage. Uh, relationships are founded on trust, mm-hmm. 
And it seems like you're being deceitful if you don't tell them that sometimes I piss my pants. <laughs> Well, it could be. Because he's going to find out eventually, and either it's a deal breaker or it's not. <laughs> it could be those PlayStation 5 controllers. That's true. It really could. Well, that gets that gets bitches who wear these pants. Right. Mm-hmm. But that won't... You're lying to your man if you're... These are panties. These are these are sexy panties mm-hmm. that soak up your piss. That's right. You know, like cat litter. Right. Uh, yeah, that that's actually my answer. Was cat litter? Cat litter. <laughs> They've got some okay. special. She's got some special, sexy smelling cat litter in that Victoria's Secret catalog. No, Fair I'm, enough. I'm just kidding. Mine's called the Cunt Cover. That, that's what they. Uh, that's what they advertise. And it's just because of the name. Women don't like that name. So yeah, because they are them sometimes. Exactly yeah. right. 100 percent cunts covers. Yeah, that's mine. How about you, Jeremy? You mean like Mrs. Miller? Yeah, <laughs> so I mentioned she was a cunt. <laughs> the Miller covers. Okay, yeah, yeah. The Miller Muff. Covers. They just call them the Millers. <laughs> Miller Muff covers. That's what it is. Okay. okay. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> How about you, Jeremy? Uh, the miners' helmets. M I N O R or E R? I think it's M I N O R. Listen, dude. I know science. <laughs> I don't know spelling. Uh, <laughs> except Tori. She was hot. Yeah. Um, no. Uh, M I N O R. Uh, listen, they got <laughs> shit lights on them. <laughs> <laughs> they, they don't light up very very bright at all. I mean, yeah, they're lacy and sexy. They make you have a sexy forehead. But when you're when you're you know chipping coal yeah. and get black lung, last thing you need sexy head. Yeah, exactly. Everybody knows that. And that's it's, it's that's a, the number one rule against mining. It's so a pink the, light, so isn't the, it? So the E R then M I N E R. Yeah, M I N E R minor. Yeah, not M I N O R. That's a young person. Uh-huh. Well, that's who I send to do all my mining. For <laughs> <laughs> all right. Uh, last question. What is a lesson you've learned in 2022? I got mine. Go ahead. A goopy eye and a burning <laughs> sensation when you urinate doesn't necessarily mean you have chlamydia. Boy, that got some traction, didn't it? <laughs> it sure did. A lot of people were like, I would have just rather had chlamydia. <laughs> yeah, that's what I learned. Just wash your hands better when you poop. Here's the thing about that whole situation is my doctor's office is in the town where I live, which is a used to be anyway a small town. Mm-hmm. So a lot of people who work there went to school with my wife, mm-hmm. and just everybody always assumes the guy's the asshole. Mm-hmm. So if he shows up with chlamydia, he's clearly the cheater, and so nobody had any mercy on me at all. They didn't <laughs> give a fuck. It was not only was I, you know. Ex- excruciatingly like treated to this excruciating treatment, but they were assholes to me too. Cause they just assumed I was fucking other women and getting diseases. There you go. Uh, how about you there, Derek? Um, no matter how hard you try. Oh, not you get, you cannot stop this fucking win. <laughs> yeah. It is unstoppable. It's unstoppable. Yes. The fucking wind. This fucking wind. <laughs> and uh, eight and a half grams of mushrooms is too much. <laughs> yeah, that's right. How about you there, Jeremy? What did you learn in 2022? There's assholes you go everywhere you go, not just Lowe's. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Harbor Freight. No matter where you fucking go, there's somebody you want to punch out. <laughs> Uh, fair enough. Well, that is questions and preguntas. I know we're running long, but we're having a good time with Jeremy. Mm-hmm. You can cut uh, this into two episodes. Uh, we might. I don't know. Uh, but anyways, now we get to move on to a new segment. This is called What's in the Box. Almost forgot about it. Oh, it's yeah. not that new. It's 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 kind of new. Compared yeah. to that Google thing, it's pretty old. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's true. It's dated. It, it is. Um, but anyways, uh, this actually has my name on it, so I'm going to go to town. All right. I think they all have my name on them, right? I just got one. No, the other, well, Jeremy had one with his name. That was uh, a dope ass trophy. That was in fact, you were trophy. completely yep. excluded from being in on that. You don't get to experience any joy from that. I know. And I hope I'm excluded from this because if they listen to this show, they have no taste. Is, uh, it, is it ticking? Oh, man, no, it's not ticking. Modern bombs don't tick. Sometimes that's a vibrator. <laughs> <laughs> Learn that from Fight Club. Yeah. That's oh, rule four. This. There's actually a card. I'm really scared to open it. <laughs> I'm really scared to open it because they all have those fucking deals. Oh, no, cool. 
Uh, let's see. Use the wheelchair or a quarter to decide which one uh, you will use at the end of the show. From Zane, avid hater of scooters, especially fuckstick. Okay. All right. Uh, he wants me to do what? Use a wheelchair or a coin. Uh, okay. I'm going to say that Zane accurately represents the level of education that most of our listeners have. <laughs> no, I don't think so. I oh, think it's all right. Card. Oh, there's a card in here. Uh, got multiple gifts. Keep your gift a surprise. Unwrap your present before opening this envelope. Uh, oh, that's, that's probably advertising. Yeah. Well, probably, thank you, Zane. Yeah. I appreciate it. Well, uh, I don't know. We'll, we'll find it. No, we got it. It says flip a coin. So we'll flip a coin. Yeah, but don't you have to open them first yeah, to figure out which one that you're Where's flipping that for? Let me see that I don't know. I didn't read it very well. Do you get the one that's that's dressed like a dumb clown or a dumber clown? Decide which one you will use at the end of the show. Oh, so yeah, you got to open them both. Oh, son of a bitch! Which ah, one you're I, don't, use. I don't want to. Jesus Christ! Sorry to inconvenience you, Scott. I know. Sorry, but he's like, hey, it's a bag. It's a bag. Yeah. Do we want the bag or the bag? Well, I, well, fuck. I can't even open the goddamn bag. Well, it's probably because it's tied shut there, Scott. I really oh, hope yeah, it's a it leaky is. diet yeah, coke. Yeah, yeah, it is. You are. Yeah, you're fucking right. Here. I, I like how. Oh, jeez. Oh, there it goes. Okay. Boom. Yeah. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> Explosion. And uh, somebody had the same idea as a previous listener. Only there's three of them. Oh my god! Yeah, three little nitros. I bet the other okay, one is honestly, bean boozled. Uh, that no. is more. That's worth more money than we've made on the show accumulated. <laughs> Probably. Holy shit, dude! I can't. I th- I will tell you right now. I will not do fucking hot. Well, shit. you're gonna have a lot of guests on this show. Coming <laughs> yeah. Up, so. This is their entry level. Like this is how they get they get onto the show. Yeah, they don't even have yeah. to do it on camera. No. They can't no, yeah, even they come on. I can make show. a guess what this is, but I don't think. I Bean boozled. Nope, I bet you That's it's a pocket, pocket chip. Yep, I bet you it is. Yep. Oh, it is. One chip challenge 2022, a pocket chip. Oh, it's outdated. Uh, it's 22. Oh, it, look, Scotty, it looks like it might already be broken a little bit, so perfect. you don't have to eat the entire thing. Like I did last I think time. You, I think in honor of Jeremy's last show, Scotty, you should eat all these right now. Mm-hmm. You can fucking kiss my mm-hmm. ass. Jeremy? Just to make up for that fucking six times gap, you <laughs> cocksucker. I know, right? Um, but which, no. by the way, speaking of New Year, that is uh, something I've been doing to my wife. Okay, you know how we, we all act really fucking weird around our wives to make them go like, yes, what the fuck are you doing? Uh, I just made up my new saying that, what, this is what I'm doing in 2023. <laughs> 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 I just my act thing. real casual about it. Uh, no, this is my new thing. I'm doing he, this. He's, he's trying to get me to do it. And he said, listen here, Scooter, don't think we forgot about your half-ass attempt at the one chip challenge. Take one of these Boy, to prove... Shit. Half a fucking chip. Yeah. One of these to prove your womanhood. From Zane Meisner, longtime fan of yeah. saying fuck you and everyone who likes you, Scotty. Love well, it. Well, thanks, man. I appreciate it, Zane. Perfect. And, and I'm going to ignore the fuck out of what you said. No, you got to do it. No, that. I think your estrogen I levels think. are really low, Scotty. Nope. Yeah. I, by the way, which is more demeaning, the fact that your wife dresses you up in panties or the fact that she, <laughs> she insists that they're granny panties? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. But hey, now we're going to move on to... <laughs> no, that's a legit question. You fucking answer that question. Uh, the panties thing. Uh, okay. but now we get to move on to uh, a very popular part. It was part. all panties <laughs> questions. I know. I don't care. Uh, we get to move on to a very popular part of every single episode. A very special laughing on the sidelines draft. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this is a very special Laughing on the Sidelines draft. Uh, over uh, the last episode, it was just myself and Jeremy. And while Jeremy picked a movie with the fucking Olsen twins in it, um, <laughs> Jeremy beat Hey, you've me. won before with fucking, what, what is it, Family Matters. Nolan Ryan. So, um, no, that's, that's a guaranteed winner. Yeah, but no, instead, you guys picked the shittiest list I have ever seen and obviously knew Jeremy was not telling the truth. He doesn't want to... Or maybe has never seen any of those movies. Doesn't matter because of uh, because actually going into the episode today we were tied, uh, but then Derek found out we were tied and voted for Jeremy. So <laughs> that says a lot more about you than me. I know it I'll does. I'll be honest. It's okay. It's, you know it's all right. Uh, so Jeremy gets the championship picks. I get the sandwich picks, and Derek gets the first pick since he wasn't here last. All the week. way in from Decatur. That's right. That's he right. traveled through storms and fog. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, but this is going to be a very special draft. This is going to be our top Jeremy moments in the four years that we've been doing the show. 
What is your top Jeremy moments? Okay. Okay. So I am uh, last pick. No, I'm middle pick. So uh, Derek, you get first pick. What do you got? Try it now. Try it now story. Yeah, that's a fucking good one. Try it now. Okay. Uh, I'm also going to go with a story. Uh, and that is, um, God dang it. I got, there's so many good ones that I, I want to come back, but I think, I think the one that probably got the most traction was probably this most recent one. And that is, uh, the goopy eye chlamydia story. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The not chlamydia, story. the not chlamydia story. Uh huh. All right, Jeremy, what are your you, favorite moments? Here's, here's what's so fucking weird about that is the look of disappointment on the doctor's face <laughs> telling me it's not chlamydia because that yeah. meant he knew what he was going to have to do. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Tell you. <ya>. Yeah. <laughs> and shove a fucking uh, okay. thing up your dick hole. I right. know what's going on here. Okay, so you get two picks, buddy. What are the two two of the <sighs> your favorite things that you've done on the show? Uh, announced that I was leaving the show. <laughs> I knew that was first pick or coming up somewhere. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Announced retirement. Yeah. Okay. And I'm going to go with uh, the, uh, the 84 T-Ball League Defensive Player of the Year story. Okay. Uh, and I, this it, is so fucking stupid. Me picking my own favorite. I know, moment. Yeah. It's, but it's fun. And I know it, it doesn't matter what we pick. You're going to win. And I'm going to go with the Apple turnover story. <laughs> the ambient Apple turnover story is okay. what I'm going to go okay. with. Okay. Uh, Derek, you get two band names. God damn it. I was hoping that would come back. Oh, I that's, forgot about that one. Oh yeah. Band Here's names Here's the are thing awesome. is I don't remember any of my, <laughs> <laughs> what you don't remember clans gender. Really? Well, of course, I can't really forget them because there's a lot of protesters out of my lawn. <laughs> yeah. Uh, shit. Okay. And Derek, you want more? Drunk pack of cigarettes. No, oh, fuck. That was the one I was hoping you would forget about. Was that my first viral? <laughs> uh, it was. Yeah, I think it was. It was okay. definitely one of the very first one. God damn it. That was great. <sighs> okay. Let's see. Um, this is kind of a both of you moment but i remember the very first time jeremy laughed hard on the episode to the point where he leaned back and cried and that was whenever you made the joke about my sister fitty synergies oh uh, yeah i'm gonna go with that one that was that's honestly one of my favorite moments of the show of all time uh anyways uh jeremy joseph you get to have it brought up when i announced i was leaving <laughs> yeah, <you did. laughs> okay um, let's see here. Let's go with God. Um, I, I legitimately, I don't it's, remember. I know it's tough, ain't it? It is tough, especially I wasn't really prepared for this. <laughs> I know. Um, you should have thought I got, about it. I got here late. Uh, yeah, it's true. You did. I shouldn't have forgotten my yeah, you got carded. wallet. Yeah. You got carded at the liquor store. Uh, I got carded. Well, no, I didn't. I, <laughs> I didn't, I didn't wait to get carded because here's the thing. <laughs> I went to go buy beer, realizing I forgot my wallet, and so getting carded uh, really doesn't make up for the fact that you have no money on you. <laughs> <laughs> Turns out they prefer one over the other yeah. quite a bit. Mm -hmm. uh, Jesus Christ. And you get two of them, too. Oh, do I really? Yeah, you get two. Okay. Uh, I'm going to say uh, cussing out the, uh, the fucking amputee. The what? The amputee. Cussing out that amputee via Facebook Messenger. Oh, okay. All right. Because that was recent. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And, um... Oh, Jesus. I'm going to say just my reaction to the little nitro. Okay. Uh -oh, oh, that one. that is a yeah. good one, yeah. I ate mace. <laughs> Jesus, I'm going to have to go through the TikToks. I got one more pick. I, I didn't even realize I did good things. <laughs> it tastes like Winnie the Pooh was possessed by the devil. Yeah. It was, uh, it was fucking great. It was one third the beast. Yep. Uh, I'm going to go with randomly throwing wa wa water bottles. God, I stuttered like a mother. Randomly throwing water bottles. Oh, you don't have a particular one? Uh, probably Matumbo. Oh, okay. Yeah, that was that was a good one. Scared the shit out of me. Of course it did. Yeah, I'm very scary. Yep, Derek, you get two. Uh, the I Heart Jeremy Joseph T-shirt. Yeah, that's awesome. 
And that's not even you. That wasn't even really him. But he loved that's it. That's a Jeremy moment, though. Yeah, it is a Jeremy moment. Yeah, I took a picture with that guy, so. You sure yeah. did. And it's forever and grand in time. Good and kid. Did it. I sign the shirt? Yeah, we yeah, all yeah, did. did. We all I think did. We all did. Yep. I, got, I drank a lot. That, way more than I did today. Yeah, yeah I know. Uh, yeah, Derek, I'm, I'm buzzed. <laughs> Derek, you get why? <laughs> <laughs> Does Derek need to drive you home? No, nah, I can drive myself. <laughs> Fuck that. I'll get you McDonald's. I'll get you, you McDonald's. McChicken? Well, all right. <laughs> Will you come pick me up before work? <laughs> at three you're, o'clock in the morning. You have to come at four. <laughs> <laughs> Derek, your last pick. Oh, fuck. There's a couple. Yeah, there's a bunch. Uh, uh, I'm going to go with the sticks story. Oh, yeah. Oh. That's a good one. <laughs> that was more your moment <laughs> that was than anything. You kind sh- of. You shined. Just you showed your warlock powers. And the, th- the fucked up thing is, is we were doing YouTube videos at the time, but that is a, that is a, a lost episode. It's a, it's a lost episode. The only, where, only place you can find that episode is actually on uh, the podcast side. You can go and listen to it. But on YouTube, it is missing an episode. Have no idea where it went. Don't well, know if it got taken down or can what. Can I ask you a question? What's up? Where can they find a podcast? <laughs> yeah, that or that. Anywhere. Ma- <laughs> that thing whenever I was talking about ha- the maggard thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. When you were yeah, like, yeah. what a stupid fucking <laughs> hill to die on. I thought that was an off-air conversation. That was no, so funny. it was on air. Was yeah. it? Okay. It was totally. Ah, damn it. Uh, I no. want to change mine, but uh, you won't well, let me. Uh, you, you, uh, it's still your pick, and sticks is kind of your thing. I'll let All you right. change it. The sweet potato story. Oh, shit. She's yeah. fucking with me. She's <laughs> fucking with she me. She is. She did it again. <laughs> By the way, she fucking did it again. Uh, uh, yeah. She didn't put brown sugar on it. Yeah. She couldn't even ask how come you taste so good. Right. Um, okay. So I, I don't want to give you any ideas but uh let me go through a list here because (laughs) there's there's a couple ones that i want and some that i don't um i didn't know i had this many moments i'll be honest with you the fact that we're going to be able to come up with probably 15 moments Mm -hmm. is astounding to me really yeah oh man no you were amazing i know that but (laughs) still you make shit tiktoks yeah shut up uh, I'm I'm gonna do it because I think it's probably one of the funniest. And Derek wasn't even here. Uh, I'm gonna go with assless chaps. Oh yeah, Megan uh, was here. Megan was here. Yeah, yeah. If your ass has, if your she, pants has an she, ass in them, they're or if you're, whatever. We should have got if him. your chaps, chaps have an ass in them, your pants. 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 That's right. We and should've. by the way, it's chaps. Chaps. We should have got in some assless chaps for this last show. Oh, uh, we should have made them do the whole show with assless chaps. They Jeremy. won't actually sell assless chaps to Scotty because he sharts so much. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's why they sell them to me, is so I don't keep ruining <laughs> pants. <laughs> They're tired of you getting out of weddings and stuff. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> These are my shitting chaps. I'm uh, going to say declaring my undying loyalty to Otis. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's great. That was fucking fantastic. Otis I'm brand great. loyal. <laughs> Are there other brands? <laughs> Nothing I'm right. Uh, it wasn't on the show, but the fucking Nordic track. You guys got a Nordic track? <laughs> oh, we talked about it on the show. Uh, you yeah, brought yeah. it up, yeah. Yeah. Uh, man, Dude, there's a whole bunch of them. There's tons of them. Might have an outdated piece of equipment from the... <laughs> 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 the Nordic track. Uh, 30-year-old piece of workout equipment. <laughs> Was that the same... Uh, and turns out, no, they don't. <laughs> is that the same trip where I went behind the bar and fixed that lady's Yes, it was the same trip. It was the same yes, show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Same yeah. show. Yeah, that was Mark Rubley. It's, I'm going to say, the only trip I've ever gone on. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, if you remember us going on a trip, it was that one. No, but I've been to that. I've stayed in that hotel like three times, so mm-hmm. I wasn't sure yeah. if that was the one. Yeah. Uh, but no, man. Uh, there's, 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 moments, <laughs> there's moments, obviously, on the, on the show that we all loved. But there's more and more moments off the show that not not everybody knows about that I'm gonna miss. You you fucking fixed my wall and you stayed there by your fucking self while my dad was in town, so I go spend time with him and you fixed you, my your fucking dad wall. Who builds houses and drywall shit for a living. <laughs> yeah. yeah, left me yeah. there and, and so he, that you could go eat dinner. Yeah, that's that's yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he did that. That should tell you more about you and how much your dad <laughs> cares about you uh-huh. than anything. So. Uh, no, I felt so terrible and uh, I wanted to stick. No, around. you shouldn't have. I said no. I'm going to hang out here and let. 
let this last go dry. Yeah. Um, but yeah, anytime I, Derek or myself ever need anything, we call you. You're always going to answer Not the anymore. phone and help. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm out. You're going to yeah. offer up your help any chance you get. You're an amazing hum- human being. I and know that. Those of us who listen to the show know that. But if you're really close to Jeremy off the show, He's even more of a better guy off the show than he is on the show. So I uh, love you, bro, and we're going to miss you. Uh, I bef- try to be. But before you get the fuck out of here. We'll see you on the perspective. Yeah, there you go. Before you get the next fuck out of here. <laughs> yeah. We're gonna, mean, I'm talking next Tuesday. Right. right. Yeah. We're going to move on to our uh, my favorite part of every single episode. This is the Laughing on the Sidelines shitty situation of the week. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this is this week's Laughing on the Sidelines shitty situation brought to you by Fanger Bang Beer and Legos. That's right, Scotty. Uh, On January 2nd, 2019, maybe the most, I don't know, deceivious text message of all time was ever sent to anybody (laughs) as they asked if they wanted to be on their new podcast that they were getting ready to start. Uh, little did the recipient of said text know that he was getting roped into a four-year commitment as a permanent guest on the show. <laughs> he thought he was, you know, saying yes to a one-week thing. Uh, turns out, no, it was all bullshit. And four <laughs> years later, he's totally fucking miserable and couldn't be happier to now be free to live out the rest of of his life as a normal person building shit out of wood, (laughs) jerking his cock, and managing bands. (laughs) And now your child can recreate the magic of that moment using nothing but a little imagination and Legos. Legos. Fuck you, Scotty. (laughs) Oh, that's great. Well, we're going to miss you, pal. Okay. Believe it or not, I might miss this a little, too. I'm sure you would. You'll be back. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> not a chance in hell. I got your number blocked already. <laughs> oh, shit. All right. Well, this week's Laughing on the Sidelines shitty situation is, would you rather always smell like cat piss or... Go into Victoria's Secret on a regular basis and ask, where is the toddler section? Yeah. All right. Go ahead, Scotty. Smelling like piss, kids. Are you? Oh, yeah. Eventually, whenever you smell like piss or shit or anything like that, eventually it goes away. You start not smelling. For you. For you. Yeah. You're going to fucking... And I don't like people. People will want to stay away from me. I think it kind of works as a catch-22. I'm going to go with uh, smell like piss. Yep. I am not going to Victoria's Secret and asking them, hey, you guys got a toddler section? I'm going to buy some panties for my 13-year-old girlfriend. That's not a toddler yeah, section. Sorry, you my 8-year-old girlfriend. You have no idea girlfriend. what a toddler is. It's a good thing you're not a parent. I'll be honest. Sorry, my You'd be buying tampons for a 4-year-old. <laughs> here's, here's, your tamp- here's some Tampax and a Capri Sun. <laughs> Here's some, some blue, animal honey. crackers, too. Never again be too careful. <laughs> oh, here's a push pop. Summer, summer's Eve and some animal crackers. That's all there is. <laughs> uh, all right. How about you, Derek? Hmm. It's <laughs> <laughs> a tough one. It is a tough one because <laughs> I fucking hate cats. <laughs> and there is nothing that smells worse than cat piss. Yes, man. At least, I guess, <laughs> I'm going to go with the toddler section. Oh, really? And and here's why. Okay. They there's no way they have one. <laughs> There's no way. So I'm in and out. Like it's, you know, once a week, twice a week, toddler section? No? All right, see you later. Uh, but no cat pee. No cat pee. You know what I mean? And and I can go to different Victoria's Secret. I'm not going to be all over the all over the fucking internet looking like as the guy looking for t- you know. I'm going to go. Here's the thing, being allergic to cats, Derek, the nice thing about cat pee, no dander. Yeah. Yeah. It's true. Yeah, but I I smelled my neighbor's house. Um, at least I can get the fuck in and get out. I don't have to actually browse in, like, if they do have one, go, hmm, what do you guys think? Like, yeah. I have to. <laughs> if they should happen to say yes, you can go, you sick fuck. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. <laughs> All right, just double checking you guys aren't yeah. being fucking gross assholes here. 
<laughs> well, at least I don't smell like cat piss. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I'm gonna go with the toddler section. Okay, how about you, Jerry? Well, I'm I'm gonna go with the toddler section too, and because number one, bunch of I, pedophiles I work with here. I'm no. not saying I'm buying anything. Uh, bullshit. Yeah, yeah. This is no purchase was required here. Okay. Uh, if if I'm going to Victoria's Secret anyway, if I see one, uh, I just like to look around, and uh, so <laughs> you know that's kind of an icebreaker. I think. Yeah. Not always a good one. Mm-hmm. Not not all broken ice is good. Can we can we admit that? <laughs> yeah, we can. Uh, so yeah, um, if you walk around permanently smelling like cat piss, eventually someone will say you cook meth. <laughs> that has, I believe, in this day and age, a much more harsh punishment. <laughs> and I believe people think less of you know meth dealers and meth cookers. Than they do of people who buy sexy negligee for toddlers. <laughs> <laughs> they don't sell them, though. Uh, yeah, I mean, <laughs> they just think you have a kid who's in a pageant. Yeah. Oh, oh God, that's crazy. They think you're bad. You're not meth dealer bad. Yeah, okay, that's fair You're enough. not breaking bad bad. Right. God damn it. So, uh, yeah, you're the odd man out here, Scotty. All right. You pervert. Yeah, yeah, the pervert that doesn't smell the, like... The, or the, the dick who gets deal. off on cat piss smelling like it. Uh-huh. Okay. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it's been a, a fun four years. It's been uh, over 200-plus episodes of doing this shit with uh, the original three. Uh, Jeremy will be back. He'll be on other episodes. Um, uh, we don't necessarily know the schedule coming up. I know we will have an episode next week. Um, but there will be a time to where, and I think uh, we're talking about it and we'll obviously try to give you as much of a heads up as possible. We are going to take a little bit of a hiatus. I'm going to put some money into the studio. We're going to have a nicer (laughs) camera. Hopefully it works. Um, just to make it a little bit more fun. And uh, so I'm excited about that. What I'm not excited for, unfortunately, is is uh, that Jeremy's not going to be a cast member, a permanent cast member on the show. We want to give him the freedom. No, because to- you're going to be <laughs> improving this place. I'm going to be fixing the fucking drywall. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but no, it, it, it's it been it's been a great fun four years, dude. I'm going to miss you. We love you. All of us do. Um and, Four uh, years, that's 1,400 days. That's 1,399 too many by my count. <laughs> I'll be honest with you. You people are greedy. Yeah. You, you but, insist uh, things of me. It's been great, man. It's been a lot of fun. It we're gonna, We're, we're, we're going to miss you. I know you'll be back. So I, I, Not permanently, but I will be back as hopefully just a guest <laughs> this time. Jesus Christ, get fulfill that initial promise. Yeah. Um, no, I, I, I am going to miss this. I wish I could... I didn't feel like I had to do this. I, I yeah. really do. Because in the beginning, it was fun. It wasn't until my own personal problems kicked in that uh, it, it stopped being as much fun. And I don't, there's no point in doing this. This, this is the one thing that I'm so proud of, and I don't even know if it's something to be proud of, about doing comedy is I have never, ever done it for any kind of money or publicity. Yes, I've been paid to do comedy, but every comedy show I've ever done, I would have done for free. Mm-hmm. Uh, I've never asked to be paid. I've never, none of that. And uh, it's never been about money or getting famous or anything. And the fact I don't personally feel like I can do it as well as I used to could. And so I, to me, that's, I, I would be shortchanging everybody if I stuck around. And I don't want to. So, um, yeah, there's that, too. So, yeah. yeah. But please, everybody, continue supporting this show. They're, they're still going to be putting out a great product. I will be, be back from time to time. They're going to get some great guests to come in. Uh, and some shitty that, ones. And, is, is that you got? You act, Scotty, actually, I saw. He had a schedule <laughs> earlier in good guests. <laughs> Shitty guess. And <laughs> I'm going to be honest with you. There's a lot more shitty ones. <laughs> He's got Carrot Top coming. Oh, God. <laughs> One, I'm impressed. Two, how fucking dare you? Yeah. <laughs> Honestly. Yeah. But no, uh, you know, other than that, be good to each other. Yeah. Be, uh, I, it, it's been an honor. It's been a pleasure. Yeah, it's been an honor, too. And that's all I got. Hey, that's good enough. 
Fuck off. You're, <laughs> you're welcome back anytime. That's specifically meant for you, Scotty. Fuck I know, off. I know, I know. You're welcome back anytime. We're all, we all love you. We're all going to miss you. I'll we'll uh, be here tomorrow. Yeah, I probably. and drywall. Fix and drywall. God damn it. Uh, but no, we love you very much. It's uh, we uh, we obviously will see you back, uh, but we're glad you get to go do what you want to do and not have to do the show and be si- just nothing. <laughs> has to just sit next to me, stroking uh, and shit. sitting. Uh, but it's a big, it's a big, it's a big part of you uh, that uh, has helped grow, make this show grow so fast. We've been doing it for four years, but and it's been my pleasure yeah. to do so. Yeah. So and thank you, man. Sincerely appreciate it. We'll have you back. You're fucking welcome again. I know. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that's been another great episode uh, of the Laughing on the Sidelines podcast. Thank you guys so very much for doing what you do and spreading our content, our uh, uh, TikToks, all of the posts we do, and participating in it. We love you guys voting for our drafts and things like that. Thank you guys. Thank you guys so very, very much. Keep on doing what you're doing. And as we always like to say, if you like us, do us a favor or do <clears throat> us a favor and tell your friends. But if you don't like us, uh, we hope your wife gaslights you over a sweet potato. But when you tell the story <laughs> to your father-in-law, he drags on and on about the story about that one time he had a cold potato at the p- potato bar at his hotel in Chillicothe, Missouri. And the story goes so long, you missed the opportunity to sign the up and coming band hijaculation. <laughs> Oh, shit. If you don't like us, tell your enemies. And until next time, guys. And fuck you, Jeremy. Fuck you, Jeremy. Until next time, we will see y'all later. Take care. Love you, Jeremy.